Welcome in, y'all. Welcome in. Happy Thursday. Hope y'all day's going well. If not, I hope it gets better. Uh, I already said happy Thursday. How are y'all doing? Welcome in, Dudes. Welcome in, Helldiver. Holy shit. I have this whole thing on lock. Like, I'm so good. I'm getting so good at it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like two minutes ago, I swear, like two, okay, maybe like 20 minutes ago, I thought it was 4 p.m., right? And I was like, I looked at the time and it was 4, and I was like, yeah, okay, I have plenty of time to stream. And I'm editing, and I'm editing, and I'm jamming out, and I'm in the zone, you know, in that flow state, and I'm just like being chilling, you know? And then I turn back, and it's like 6 something, and I'm like, hmm, what time do I stream again? I stream at 7. There's still time, There, there's 4 minutes left. <laughs> I had to start launching everything. I'm so glad I have like a decent computer because otherwise I would have like, like, you know, I would have just died. <laughs> right, right? I saw it and I was like, oh my god, that is so cute. I had to slap it on there. I had to. Oh man, eating pizza rolls right now. Only seems fitting. Ooh, nice, nice. Got some good, uh, is it considered munchies food? I don't think so. I just consider anything that's like gobbleable. Gobbleable? Is that a word? That's definitely not a word. But you know, like the ability to gobble, right? You know, English is what we created, so we can just make up words honestly. Honestly, we really can. That really is how language works. I mean, what the hell? Like, yeet? Yeet doesn't originate from anything. It originates from like something that someone said, literally, in that one video that got popular. It doesn't have any actual, as far as I know, etym etymological? Et etymology origins or anything like that. So like, we could just make shit up. <laughs> oh man. Oh, no redeems again? I I reconnected it and everything. Hold on, let me huh, let me try. Redeem. I'm gonna do sip. Maybe. Okay, sorry you're back. No worries, welcome back. How how are you doing? How's today? How's today been? I woke up super late. Man, no redeem why are none of my redeems working anymore? That is so weird. It has to be Streamlabs. Oh, stream. Hmm. Hmm. See, here's a funny thing too. I, I, after stream yesterday, I like disconnected it from my channel and then I reconnected it or whatever, reconfigured it, and like some theory it should be working right. And then from there, I got an email from them the next day, and they were like, "Hey, so we came out with a new OBS plugin uh, that we're rolling out. It's an open beta. I don't know if you want to try it." And like, I use OBS, so I was like, "Ah, oh, that kind of seems like right up my alley." But then I was like, mm, I remember with stream elements, like it, it had a couple of issues. Like that was why one time OBS just kept crashing um, because I had a stream elements plugin. So I just kind of like gave up on that. So I was like, mm, I don't want that to happen again. So I'll just like wait, I'll wait on that, you know? And lo and behold, it's not working <laughs> still. <laughs> Pep knows they broke it. I don't know how, like it, it didn't even, it's just like literally one day did not show up. It, it's boycotting me. <laughs> You've been avoiding Undertale. It's been three months. I have been avoiding Undertale. And I'll tell y'all why, okay? I'm gonna put someone on blast here. My younger brother, right? The one that I've, I've told y'all a lot about, the one that does art. Uh, I told him that I was doing Undertale and he was like, I want to come on stream and watch you play it and like, you know, critique you and stuff. And I'm like, okay, bet. But then like at that point, uh, there were two more streams left, right? And well, two more is in like the final one that we need. So I'm pretty sure we can get it done in one more stream um, before that one. So like the last stream, uh, before that stream, he had said that and then I forgot and I played it and I got to the end and then like I'm already in the final battle. So I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to go any further. And so we've been trying to plan it. But the thing is like, he comes over like two times every month, right? And whenever he does come over, we have like all the other siblings and so we hang out, we go outside, we touch grass and everything. And there's only been one time that we actually had the opportunity where we could have planned a stream, but I didn't because he was like, oh, well, actually, I have these plans, so I'm actually going to be on a call and stuff. Like, he fucking makes conference calls with his friends, which, like, is valid, right? Like, I, I do that, too. But still, like, he was coming over to my house. Or not my house, but, you know, where I live. And then he's going to be on a call with friends. It was just like, oh, my God. And so, yeah, I blame my brother. And <laughs> no one has a way to contact him, but if y'all ever do, if at one point he comes on, y'all can, like, point at him and be like, it's your fault we didn't have an Undertale stream for so long. Because I've told him before, I'm like, yeah, so when are we going to get that done? And he's like, oh, well, I still got to, like, do this. I still got to do that. And, like, oh, I'm not sure. And so it'll, it'll probably be on a Saturday, the final Undertale stream. <laughs> oh, man. Stream broken. We can't go on. For real, for real. How will we survive without flat <laughs> I could, I could give you a big head paprika. That, that's, um, have pity on me. <laughs> oh my god, what are we ever going to beat Honk? I don't think we ever will. 
haven't paid them their salary. I mean, honestly. A fourth critique, let's go. <laughs> yeah, basically. I think it would be funny because, like, like, I remember every time I would do an Undertale stream and, like, the next time we would talk, right, he'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, on this one, like, and he would, like, give me notes or whatever. He'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, this, it would have been easier to do that and this and that and this and that. And, like, oh, I remember whenever I did that, you know? Final Undertale stream. Yeah, because it is technically the final. Because, like, we're literally on the last bo boss fight, right? <laughs> That's the last boss fight, right? <laughs> From my understanding, we're like fighting Flowey and that's the last guy. Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> I bet we're gonna have at least two more, maybe three. That's not true. Three hours is like, my stream time is usually three hours. It's rare that I go under. Um, so like three hours should be enough. Cause it's only one battle. If it was like, oh, well, we're still at the part where, I don't know, we gotta be Asgore, then yeah, you know, probably two, three more streams. But we're at the flowy part and like, I've already gotten a little bit ways into the flowy part. So I doubt it'll take more than three hours. And if it does, if it does, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm promising this. If it does on the stream after the, and I'll, I'll put air quotes on this final stream, I will wear a clown wig throughout the entire stream. Not physically, because I can't afford that right now. <laughs> but I will be Clown Rika for the entire stream for underestimating. But I'm so confident I can do it in three hours. Y'all can hold me to my word on that. Oh my gosh. Stuff Asgore. I already fought Asgore. He he died. Flowey killed him. <laughs> Pep skills are gonna be stuck here forever in the flavor. <laughs> doing the pacifist run? Yeah, yeah, I am. Oh man. I'm doing the neutral run. I am? Ah. Wait, I thought I was doing the pacifist, because I think... I mean, I killed As. Well, I didn't. I technically I didn't kill Asgore. It was Flowey. Um, I just like banged him up a little bit because I needed to, and I didn't. I didn't even kill Metaton either. I think I just like got through it. I got the ratings up. The only one I killed. Well, I killed like like a couple, like a few of like minor monsters occasionally, but they were like like literally I could count on one hand how many I killed. I'm pretty sure. I don't actually know, but I'm pretty confident on that. <laughs> but where was I for that? <laughs> don't tell it. What? What does that mean? <laughs> you guys are worrying me now. Fuck. And then like, oh my god, why why does everyone that I know, the people that I attract around me, they're always like, I don't know, preying on my downfall. <laughs> Like, because if I called my brother and I asked him, like, hey, uh, so I killed, like, maybe two monsters that were not any major characters, and, like, I'm fighting Flowey right now. Is there anyone that I'm fighting afterwards or anything? Because apparently I'm on the neutral run. He'd probably be like, oh, I can't tell you this classified information. Like, ah, come on. <laughs> I didn't get notifications, by the way. Hi, hi JJ Creates. How are you doing? Everybody's going well. Night up. It's better. Happy Thursday. I was going to say Wednesday. <laughs> oh, man. It means you better be. What? No, I'm pretty sure it's fine, so not total- Well, cause like, I didn't kill any major characters and I didn't do it often enough to where it was like, Oh, you're- you're a killer! Like, I was still- I think I was like level one with the XP or whatever, or love points or something like that. I was like level one, so, you know, yeah. <laughs> Hello! Oh man, I'm sorry the redeems aren't working. I don't know what's wrong with them. I don't understand. I'm gonna have to like, reset it up or something. It just- it don't work. Plenty of people have tuned in while she's playing and see it's a pacifist and she's doing pacifist like bro. <laughs> pacifist means you need to go to the alphas. Alpha Slab becomes friends with Undyne. Didn't we become friends though? We made sp we made spaghetti, didn't we? Like I went over to to her house because Papyrus called me, and he was like, "Hey, come over," and I was like, "Okay," and then we go, and then and then the the house ended up exploding. Yeah, yeah, if I remember correctly, that's what happened. Don't need the game, I can back soon. <laughs> oh my god. We need Paprika Cloud. No, no. Paprika cannot be can. I'm gonna have to speedrun it or something. <laughs> oh man, y'all remember the last speedrun I tried doing? It wasn't even a speedrun. I was like, oh yeah, you know, jokingly, because I know that the moment that I say I actually want to do something for real, it becomes like 10 times harder for me. That's, that's just my luck. Anytime I express any type of want, the world will be like, ha, what if we make it funny though? And it is funny, mind you. It is funny to watch me fail, but it sucks failing. So, you know, <laughs> stuck between a rock and a hard place. I need to rewatch the stream. <laughs> oh man, you know what's another good thing on letting it fester? No one's going to remember the death count. Nobody's going to be like, oh, death number 45. I don't remember what we were at. I don't think we were at 45. I'm pretty sure we were only at like 15. <laughs> 
Oh man, Pep, let's just say you instantly sealed your fate. What? I'm very happy it's happened again. <laughs> no, it's not a failure. <laughs> okay, we start. <laughs> I never win. <laughs> Why do I even try? I never win. Oh my god. What's the point? <laughs> Might have a sleepover with my bestie tomorrow, so yay! Me and him are also making a book. Yo, Pog! Book writers! I saw someone in, in Discord. I don't remember who it was. I feel like it was Baku, but honestly, I might just associate everything that I'm like, oh, that's cool, with, like, Baku. So. <laughs> it might be that, but I know someone was writing, like, book. They, they like, posted it to, oh, what's it called? A word? A screenshot of a word document. And then they were like, oh, I'm writing a book with a friend or something like that. I forgot who it was. Henrika is inevitable. No, please. <laughs> I keep trying. It's comedy gold. It's so embarrassing. I get, like, so confident about this stuff, and I'm like, yeah, no, yeah, for sure. Like, literally, that's the reason that I haven't streamed the game for so long, and I know, like, occasionally I'll see comments like, hey, what are you doing to the Undertale stream? What are you doing to the Undertale stream? My other brother has asked me, he's like, hey, what are you gonna do under uh, another Undertale stream? And I'm like, oh, well, you know, because I'm at the last bit, so I just need, like, my other brother to come and, and get on the stream with me like he said, I, like he, said he was gonna. Oh my gosh, it was me. <laughs> oh, so it was you. Okay, then yeah, yeah, I saw it. I didn't read it because I've been like, poof, man, I've been hella busy. So funny story, right? I think I told you this like a while ago too. I was doing training for this online job, but the thing is, right? The online job didn't say, hey, we're going to hire you, start training. They said, hey, do this training, then we'll talk about hiring you. And so I've been kind of like not super duper motivated about it. And it's a little bit confusing. Um, I can't say too much just because I, I think I can't. I think I'm not allowed to. It's, it's not anything like, whoa, look, a secret. I'm in the FBI. Whoa. Like, no, it's, it's literally just a regular, really, really boring job. Um, and, and it's like a, like a, like someone who helps tweak the algorithm or whatever but not in like a super high techy hacker way. It's literally just like, I look at the results and I'm like, okay, like this doesn't do very good. This search engine isn't very good. Or like, oh, this one is, you know, this one's like very good quality. This one's not, and that. So it's like very boring um, job, but so like it said that, right? And it pays pretty good. So I needed to get it done. And I took a little bit longer than I should have because I really didn't want to do it. <laughs> Like it was just, it was really, really boring, but I got it done like today. I finished it today because man, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of pretext to a lot of this, right? So goddamn, there's always a story for a story. Sorry guys. I have mush for brains. So, okay. Step one, right? Or not step one, but we'll start at, you know, paragraph one. Um, my friend and I, or friends and I, right? Cause it's like three people were having our, like a joint birthday party, right? because we all have like a, a, we all have the same, not the same birthdays, but like in a similar range. So we're like, ah, oh, let's just, you know, throw a birthday party together, right? And it's gonna be themed and it's gonna be so cute and it's themed after like tea parties. So we need like a little dress or whatever, uh, like nothing too fancy, but like little cute semi fairy garden tea party dress, right? Um, and so I'd been online shopping for a dress, right? Because I don't have anything that like super suits that and I don't go out much, so you know, online shopping or whatever. Um, and I found three dresses that were so cute and like, would y'all be interested in seeing them? Cause I think, they, I, I don't know. I think they're really, really cute. <laughs> Wanna see dresses? I just enjoy <laughs> showing people stuff. Uh, where's my super suit? Exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh. So like, um, I kept seeing like these pictures of these dresses and I was like, oh my god, like this one's cute, this one's cute, that one's cute. And I was like back and forth, I was like, oh, but I don't have money to spend so I can only choose one, but out of three, I'm not sure. And so I was like thinking about it for like three days straight and there was a sale going on and it was going to end today. And I was like, oh man, you know, if, if I'm going to get them, I should get them now before the price goes really up because some of them were like 50% off, you know? And like, I love a good deal. It's the girl math in me. I love a good deal. So I was like, oh, well, you know, I, I should probably get them. And I finally caved today because it was the third day of me thinking about it. And I was like, okay, well, if I thought about it for three days straight, let me just get it. But again, I couldn't decide. So I, anyways, I dropped like $60 for three dresses, which is not that bad considering like i'll show you all the dresses hold on let me pull up pictures here <laughs> oh my gosh okay hold on um but yeah it wasn't that bad and so i bought that but then i was like i need a job because i don't have 
like enough income to like warrant like yeah it's fine i only spent 60 dollars you know so i was like okay i need an actual like regular paying job <laughs> so that's why i was like okay i'm gonna go finish that training uh and i did uh, and then after that, like, it didn't say anything specifically after, like, okay, now do these tasks, or now go contact this person, like, it just completed, and that was it, and I was like, okay, well, now what, and I was expecting, like, an, an auto-reply email, like, congrats, we will be contacting you, or something like that, nothing, I've got nothing so far, but I was snooping around on the website, because I was like, what, what, what do I do next, and I entered another course, I don't know if I was supposed to enter that course, it was not on the front page whenever I clicked on the link initially, but it was after I fucked around and I was like messing around and I hit like the discover tab or something and stuff like that so I don't know if I'm supposed to do that and I kind of don't want to so I'm kind of just gonna like wait till tomorrow to see if anyone like gets back to me like hey you know do this training now um but if they don't then I'll <laughs> then I'll <laughs> then I'll do it and then if they still don't respond I'll be like hey <laughs> are y'all gonna hire me <laughs> oh man let's see let's see Give him a surprise. No, no, I want to show y'all. I'm too much of a yapper. Otherwise, I'll try, like, describing them. But, man, describing dresses is hard because it's just, like... Like, they're all kind of similar, you know? Not really super similar, but just, like, similar in, like... Like, I don't know how to describe it. Mm, okay, let me send y'all... Okay, let me open up a Google drawing. And then from there, I'll show you. Well, actually... Where can I put it? Where can I put it? Okay, I know what to do. Here we go. This should be fine, probably. Hopefully. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see. Ah, blah blah blah. It feels so good. Go. Blah. Feels so good to get clothes. You like? I went on a clothes shopping spree for my next interview. And like, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. I guess it pays. So it's not just a girl thing. Yes, it's just the need to like, oh man, this looks so fucking cool or cute. I, I, I want to have that and be like cool and cute, you know? <laughs> I also got an art app. Yo, I'm gonna do digital art. Landscape. I've been drawing more on my phone. I got a little app called Sketchbook. Like that reminded me of that. Uh, and like, I'm like kind of starting to get it. I'm getting like kind of decent at it to where I can draw pretty good with just my finger. I'm becoming a finger artist, guys. It's so sick. Um, Fabrica sneaking in places. I was shopping for clothes the first time. I immediately started terror maxing. What's terror maxing? You know, happiness, I do. <laughs> oh man. Can I, can I copy image? Copy image and paste. Man, this resolution is horrible. Okay. Got it. How do I, how do I get photo? Oh, I wait, I know what to do. I'm so smart, guys. Y'all don't understand how fucking smart I am. Okay, we'll do this one. And then we'll grab... Which one's a good photo of this one? Here we go. That's a good photo. I get to show y'all dresses. I'm at the height of, of luxury. <laughs> Not luxury, but just happiness. <laughs> I haven't been able to show anyone the dresses because, like... So, funnily enough, I was showing my friends the other day, but, like, the dresses that I was thinking of weren't on the wish list that I showed them. And so I just ended up showing them, like, another dress that- which is one of the ones that I bought. Um, and they were like, oh, yeah, you know, totally get that one. It looks like- it would look so good on you. And I was like, oh my god, okay. But then, like, I was thinking about other dresses, but I didn't want to, like, oh, hold on, guys, let me go find these other dresses that- that I really wanted to show y'all. So I didn't say anything. But, like, because of that, I didn't want to pull them up and be like, Hey, guys, what do y'all think about these dresses? Because I feel really bad whenever I'm like, Hey, I can't make up my mind. Help me make up my mind. <laughs> oh, my God. But, look, we're going to go here. And then we're going to go window, 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 window. And then this one. And then close off a little bit of top. And can I zoom in a little bit for y'all? There we go. Those are the three dresses that I'm looking at. Or not looking at, I bought. I, I bought all three of these for $60. And as you can see, they're very cute. And I think they all, like, fit the aesthetic of, like, tea party dress. And the thing is, originally I showed my friends this one, right? I showed them that one. And and they said, like, it looks super cute and I liked it. But also, since it's going to be in May, I wasn't sure, like, if the sleeve would make it too hot. Because, like, you know, we have, we, we have a lot of sun here. So... 
I was like, oh, I'm not sure about the sleeves. And so I was thinking of this one. This one was one that I couldn't get out of my mind for the longest. But then whenever I was going to get it, um, the fucking thing, it was like, hey, they don't have it in your size, so you can't order that one. And I was like, oh, man, dang it. So then, like, I thought I wasn't going to get that one, right? And then I saw this one, which, if you can see, actually, right here, it's a little bit iridescent. And I looked at the reviews and all the other reviews are like, yeah, it actually is iridescent. It's actually really, really cool. And I was like, oh my God, that looks so cool. So I was going to go with this one. And then I couldn't decide about this one. So then I was like, ah, fuck it. I'll just get both of them. And then this one came back in my size, right? So I was like, oh my God, but I really, really want this one. Cause it has kind of like a boning corset kind of not, it doesn't actually have boning, but it has like, like it has the illusion of having like a corset kind of, uh, like look on there right and it's super duper cute and i really wanted that one so i was like oh well maybe maybe uh and then it came back in my size so i was like oh yeah let me get it and then it went out of my size and then i was like fuck and then i got like a little frustrated but i was like okay let me go with the original plan but then i measured myself right because they had the measurements or whatever and they were like oh yeah here's a bust size here's a, the waist size or whatever I measure myself and i would fit into a medium so then i got it in medium uh, and so now I have all these dresses coming to me around the same time frame and I, I'm going to kind of like go full force into trying to find like a part-time job or something so that when they do come in and this probably won't work out, but when they do come in, hopefully, uh, cause like anytime, like anything arrives for me, my dad's like, why'd you order that? Like, you know, not too, you know, it, it's not that big of a deal, but also it makes me like a little bit like, <sighs> I know I'm not making responsible financial decisions right now, okay? <laughs> I mean, honestly, I am. I haven't spent anything in a while. You know, so, like, it's not that, but it's just, like, I don't want him to think that. So, you know, if I get a job before that, then he won't say, like, he, he won't bat an eye. But if I don't, he'll be like... You know, he'll give me that dad look, and, oh, I hate the dad look. You bought these $60, $60 for all three. All three. No, for all of them. Uh, 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 uh uh fucking aliexpress that that's where i get a lot of my stuff that's where i go shopping because i am broke i'm broke and i can't afford a lot of stuff so you know and also i don't drive anywhere <laughs> otherwise i'd be thrifting oh man it can only be i can't be the only one who shortens probably to probably no yeah i do it too we shipped in a third year yapping very quickly listen it's it's about something that, like how pretty they are it makes me happy you know <laughs> gonna break the speeding limit the Japanese about $40 at a book not long ago yeah see like you know we love a good deal for all these dudes deal right they have like a, a early summer spring or something like that sale they're always having sales on there and that's why they get so much of my money like a majority of the cool things that I own come from there I say that but I just mean like clothes and even then I haven't bought too much like I bought this one really cute coat off of there one time uh I was about to do a dumb thing. <laughs> but yeah, it's one hell of a deal, right? Right? I'm not responsible. I felt that. I thrift. Same. I love thrifting. I got the, like, cutest pair, like, forever ago, but I got the cutest pair of, like, these, uh, long overalls or whatever, and they, like, I don't know. They're so girly. I don't know what about it. It doesn't have lace. It's just, like, kind of frilly-ish, but I think that's just, like, the worn out is worn outness of the jean fabric, and it's just, like, the cutest thing, and I fucking, I fucking love thrifting. I love, I don't know. I don't know, man. I just, I like looking cute. I really, really do. Oh, man. <laughs> and that's cheap price for being like a princess right right like the the closest thing to these dresses that i have is like um this like little summer eat dress um but it's like it's just spaghetti strap and it's like kind of short and it just has like vertical um kind of like jean colored like blue lines uh but they're like very thin lines so it's kind of like uh what's it called vertical stripes and then it has like three buttons in the middle and it's very very cute funny thing actually i, I forgot who i told this to recently i can't remember if it was y'all or who i think it was y'all um and i was like oh yeah you know I, I took it and i did i wore it to the convention uh a convention that i went to like forever ago and i had like basketball shorts underneath it but like not to where you could see it, but that's where I kept my wallet because I had pockets. And so anytime I would need to make a purchase, I would just like lift up my dress and, you know, just plunge my hand into my pocket, like full, like not even like, oh, tee hee, like Cinderella lifting my dress. And like, no, I would yank that shit up. I did not care. So yeah, I'm like, I don't know. I have the attitude of like some, I don't want to say tomboy because I don't feel like I'm cool enough to be a tomboy, you know? But like, I like looking pretty. I like pretty dresses, but I will yank that shit up, wear basketball shorts under. I don't give a shit. Is I like being comfortable and looking pretty. Two of my favorite things. <laughs> Welcome 
man, Psycho Zev. How are you doing? Everything's going well. If not, it gets better. Oh, man. Happy Thursday. Yeah. Um, I need to make your avatar have these dresses on too to compensate. Right? Right? I've been thinking about it. Like, I want to give... I want I want to get more outfits, too. But I, I can never decide. I keep getting into, the, like, the design stages of of making, like, a new outfit. Like, oh, what if I, what if I do this? What if I do that? Because... First, I'm like, let me just put cute clothes on, but then I'm like, oh, well, you know, you gotta make a brand, you know, because all the fucking uh, influencer videos get to me, and I'm like, oh, well, what's my brand? I don't know what my brand identity is, Ooh. and so I start like, oh, you know, I gotta do something that, like, at least shows my personality, and so then I'm like, oh, if I get a dress, it's too girly, but if I get, like, a skirt, then it's a little too girly, and if I stay with shorts, then I look cool, but it's, like, the same thing, and so I'm like, oh, so, like, I'm in the design phases of <laughs> of making a new outfit okay so it'll be a while till y'all see me change sorry y'all gonna have to stay with my my crusty white sleeve <laughs> nah it I, I wash this jacket regularly believe it or not oh man i paid 60 for one dress obviously for a friend because i'm crazy i felt that one of my friends um the reason that i brought up, brought up dresses at all was because she was showing me the dress that she was gonna wear for the party and it was really really pretty but it was like sixty dollars. She was getting it off of Amazon, and it, like it made sense, you know. But I was like, damn. Eh. And like the funny thing is, like earlier that day, because we were talking at night. So earlier that day, I had like just found one of the dresses, and it was around like twenty bucks. So I was like, oh man, you know, I don't know, twenty bucks for a dress. If it was like fifteen, then I could be like, yeah, yoink. But it was twenty, so I'm not sure. And like the other ones, like some of the other ones were like twenty five ish. Like some of them got more of a discount, and some of them didn't. But, like, you know, I was kind of, like, on the fence about those prices, and she was like, yeah, I'm, I'm dropping $60 on this. I'm like, <laughs> skill difference, crusty. <laughs> I was gonna say my jacket, but it's not crusty. Just wear stuff. You can do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna stick with really baggy sweatshirt and leggings. I felt that. You know, it, it's cute to be comfy. Yeah, like the little front tuck. Um... Yeah, like front tuck of, of oversized sweaters and stuff. I think that's really cute. So my outfit range so much. Same, same. Oh my god. I, I fucking... It's funny. Anytime I would go out with my friends, right? We would go to like a park or we would, you know, uh, our fucking trips would make it out of the group chat, right? We would go and I would always like kind of dress up a little, right? So I would still be comfortable, right? Because that's the underline of everything. I'm always comfortable. With the exception to one time, but that was for 15. Which like if you've ever been to a fucking Hispanic quinceanera... It's rare that you're actually comfortable in what you go in, you know? But I fucking ate that night, okay? <laughs> ate as in, like, I looked good. But I did also eat food. Um, but anyways, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So, like, anytime we go out, I'm always, like, kind of in a different style of clothing. But not necessarily as in, like, one day I'll be goth. The other day I'll be, you know, Lolita or anything like that. Uh, my friends always say that, like, I, my style is along the lines of like alternative cottage core because it's never really like garden-esque it's just like like oh yeah she has a she, she has a garden she has a homestead in her backyard you know <laughs> oh my gosh wonder tell if i wear a medium woman because i love oversized sweatshirts pog yeah know your sizes get the oversized stuff because it looks cute never cared about what i wear most of what i own is clothes i don't like ah dang but like like, okay, I get that, right? Because for a while, um, I had a lot of clothes that, like, I just did not care for. I just, like, put shit on, right? I would wear sweatpants to school. I did not give a shit. And they weren't even, like, cute sweatpants. Like, I'm talking about just, like, beat up. They were torn at the bottom, you know? Like, they... I would... Okay. So, hmm. They were really, really long sweatpants, and so they would drag on the ground, and it used to be very rainy. And so, like, you know, it would get all wet at the bottom, and it was just not great. But I did not give a shit, because, you know, I, I was I was going through shit at that time. <laughs> oh my god. But, like, I don't know, there's something about just wearing stuff that makes you happy. You know, there's some type of joy in it when it's like, oh yeah, I like the way I look. You know, the, the joy you find in, like, looking pretty or beautiful or like just cool or like oh yeah i like the way i look to yourself you know so yeah i don't know <laughs> uh, all right back what did i miss nothing much just you know me ranting about kills me yapping past the speed limit <laughs> my sister denied that and my mom was still upset about it oh uh, about what let's see let's see i will say if i had a job my wallet could never have money because of this one story in gothic sarcastic clothes took me around 800 pounds for me yeah yeah a lot of like uh alternative clothing brands uh, they tend to be very, like, expensive, 
And so that's why I kind of like DIY. Like I, I had this whole Pinterest board at one point of like, um, and I, <laughs> I bought this fucking class on one of those like online class websites or whatever. I forgot what it was, but it was about like a uh, reparative embroidery or something like that. And so what that was is that whenever you get holes or like any type of strain in any of your clothing, you could like basically embroider it to fix it but also you could add designs into that repair so that way it would just look like a god damn i almost choked on my spit uh on like you could add you know like little flares and stuff and so i have this one pair of pants that like nothing was wrong with it i just wanted to embroider it and so it has like a bunch of flowers on it and it's really really cute and i've gotten compliments on it before and i felt so cool because i'm like ha, i did that that was me <laughs> Oh man, I bought a 3x jacket cause cozy. As you should! I also make the joke that you can fit in it. <laughs> oh my god. My range of clothes is really wide. I suit gothic flannel suits, hoodies. I got called king of casual style at college because people thought I suited anything. That's dope though, to be able to like, like wear anything, you know, like, I like whenever, um, how to say it? Like whenever you have module, mo is that, is that the right word? Um, like module clothing and stuff like that to wear modular modular having a modular closet which i'm pretty sure is not the correct way to say it but i'm gonna i'm gonna say it anyways um and basically it's like when you have a bunch of different pieces of clothing and you, you can like mix and match them to suit different styles and stuff i'm sure i could pull that off at some point but i never like think hard enough so i always just get like tops that are easy to style along with like very neutral bottoms and stuff like that and then i'll get one pieces to make my life easier <laughs> not a fan of variety but my mom is so she fights me about wearing different things all the time i'm not allowed to buy more than two of the same shirt pants etc lazy x you come off to me as the kind of person who like would have like in those cartoons you know like the same suit just like the same suit like 12 of the same suit so that way you could be like oh yeah you know i always just wear the same suit but it's it's a different thing <laughs> the one piece i'm actually wearing a shirt using one of the hacks from five minute crafts you know sometimes they were on to something sometimes they were you know on something but sometimes they were on to something you know what i mean <laughs> I have no idea about fashion, mostly because my fit usually consists of jeans or sweatpants and a sweatshirt. No matter what the weather is outside or what the fit is. Ah, I see, I see, I see. But what about when it's like really, really hot? I mean, I don't know, like for a while I was kind of the same way. Like just pants and a hoodie and that was it. And then I got really, really hot and I was like, never mind. <laughs> Let me take off the hoodie. It's hot outside. And then we started going to parks more and I actually enjoyed walking in the grass. And I was like, all right, shorts time. And then eventually I like, I like accepted that I'm like, I just, I want to feel comfortable. And then that, that is my style. <laughs> Comfy, but cute too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My mom also, uh, also says that I have a perfect skin tone to wear anything with good on me. Pog, you are far, far from the first or last person to tell me that. <laughs> I'm not the first, nor will I be the last. Let's go. Oh my god. Welcome in Serial Designation A. How are you doing? Our day's going well. If not open better. Happy Thursday. I like chocolate cake too. What's your favorite type of chocolate cake though? Is it like angel food cake? Or what is it? Devil's food cake? I, th I think would be considered it because it's chocolate. I don't know why chocolate is associated with the devil, but I'm not going to ask too many questions on that. <laughs> Oh man, like I said, no matter the weather or the temperature, the fit is the same. Ah, damn. You're like one of those people that wear shorts in like the 30 degree Celsius weather and they like, maybe they'll bring an umbrella when it's raining, but they usually don't. <laughs> I'm luckily a one person who can handle the heat so I can have my lumberjack style during 28 degrees Celsius. Holy crap. I can't do that. I don't know. I'm, I'm very sensitive. I, I'm very sensitive to temperatures. I, I I grew up very like sheltered. I'm like, what is it? What is, what is that one pet that like? Oh, fish, fish. I'm like a fish, where like I can't handle sudden temperature changes. I'll like fucking die. <laughs> German chocolate. Ooh, German chocolate cakes are so good. What do you expect when we're based on my profile and what you know about high act so far? Um, I feel like you like overalls. Overalls or like one pieces. Or like jumper suits. If not, you like those baggy cargo pants. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Yeah, I'm pretty confident in that answer. <laughs> I'm probably wrong, but you know who knows. As long as I don't give an ill, I want that chocolate cake. Valid. Thirty degrees Celsius, about sixty-eight degrees Fahrenheit. That's. Oh yeah, that's like room temperature. Yeah, that's around seventy degrees. So same as these. 
My boy Jasper made a song about liking a chocolate cake. Who's Jasper? This is the last thing I expected. Yeah, because, like, you would think, but, like, dogs can kind of, I mean, not all dogs, right? And I'm not saying, like, dogs can withstand extreme temperatures or, like, anything like that. But, you know, dogs can kind of handle a little bit of temperature differences. Cats can handle a little bit of temperature differences. Uh, maybe some reptiles, but, like, usually they tend to go into hibernation. Not really, like, whenever it gets too cold. Whenever it gets too hot, I think. I think, for the most part, lizards tend to be a little bit more easygoing whenever it comes to like the hotter spectrum not too much but you know a little bit um maybe like hamsters too i don't know i think hamsters can't handle like heat but the thing that i thought it was fish because my mom's always like complaining to me like yeah you know the the temperature changed in the in the aquarium so like this happened and that happened and i'm just like damn having a fish is really complicated <laughs> You got every single thing wrong. Every single thing? Yeah, that's my luck. So what type of stuff do you like then? Let's see. 35 degrees Celsius, about 85, I think. Oof, that's hot. Wait, I forgot. If it's snowing, I'll roll up my pants leg. I will take off my hoodie. Okay, then yeah, I totally understand that. We should all do this. What would you assume I'd wear mostly because of my profile picture? Ah, oh, damn. I don't know. Um, Based off your profile picture. Okay, I'm gonna be honest here, right? I'm gonna be honest here. Um, I can't see fully what your profile picture is, so every time that I've seen your profile picture, it looks like an edited photo of Master Uguay with like a cool rapper hat on and maybe like a mustache. I'm almost 100% positive that's not what it is, but also I can't guarantee that that's not what it is, but that's what I see, okay? Because I... <laughs> Listen, they're just little icons. That's, that's what I see. Oh man, I just like baggy clothes. So then you probably like those baggy cargo pants. So yeah, that's what I was saying. And like, maybe that was just a little bit of projection too. I was like, oh, I think one pieces would totally look good. Look good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see, let's see. Where was I? Uh, Cold-blooded need to sunbathe a lot. Ah, okay. So then maybe, but what happens when they don't sunbathe? Do they, I mean, they probably do die, don't they? <laughs> just like baggy clothes. Ah, I gotcha. I want to be involved. What do you think I'd wear based on? You give me like very, um like a mix between you either wear like alternative clothing like a bunch of that not like emo or like dark colors but kind of neutral colors not either beige like darker than beige like oh dark academia that's the vibe that you're giving because of your your profile picture dark academia clothes i feel like is right up your alley I'm probably wrong <laughs> i'm probably gonna get all of y'all wrong i apologize in advance oh man fish are easy i grew up with them in the whole pond full of fish I won't okay but like having a pond is different from an aquarium because like a pond you just like set it up in like the general area and as long as you have an understanding of what your like surrounding area temperature is then you should be fine um but like an aquarium you know you gotta like in order for it to be to where you're not constantly changing it, you have to like set it up correctly and if you don't then you're kind of like all oh, this all oh, that and it's just Oh man, it seems like such a hassle. Close enough, I do love baggy cargo pants. Yeah! <laughs> Don't ask what happened to them. Oh! Oh, <laughs> no. oh man, I should prefer tight pants, baggy shirt to be specific. Ah, dang, for real? Wait, tight pants. Oh, so you do the, the, the oversized top and then the like tight fitted bottoms. Oh, that's dope. Never thought in for murder drones could be wearing all that. <laughs> I think it's the colors, because, like, that's all I have to go off of, because some of y'all is, like, I just see vague shapes, but I don't see, like, much of what it really is, because I can't see, like, the full-size icons or whatever, so I'm just, like, going based off colors, but I know, personally, that, like, colors can't really dictate, because, like, my icon profile picture is, like, purple, you know, and, like, you can kind of see it, I made it just a tiny bit visible to where you can see, like, it's a head, and that's about it, but, like, what do you think of when you think purple? I know, like, the color theory says, oh, royalty and stuff, but, like, I don't know. I don't think I really fit into that, like, whenever you look at the, the clothes that I usually tend to wear, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> Since I'm an egg, how would I wear pants? Uh, you would just, like, sit in the pants, but they would never come with you, because... Like, at best, maybe you can get, like, uh, what is it called? Long-waisted pants. And then you could, like, use a belt to tie it around your, your like, middle part of the egg. I don't know if that's called, like, a midriff or what. <laughs> a mid-egg. You just tie it around there, and then there you go. But, like, good luck walking in them. Or I suppose the eggs can't even walk, huh? So, like, good luck rolling in it. You know, if you roll horizontally, then you should be fine. But if you roll vertically, it's, they're gonna fly off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you have to get, like, a crotch strap or something. Or strap it around, like, the... What is it, vertically rather than horizontally, and then boom, you're good to go. 
Oh my god. I'll also be involved based on profile picture. What clothes would I wear? Uh, let's see. You're giving swampy vibes. That, because like, okay, your profile picture is like turquoise and yellow, right? And so I'm thinking green, right? Because my brain auto mixes the colors. And then, for some reason, the only thing I can think of what your profile picture would be, which, you know, is more than likely not, but it looks like a post-apocalyptic version of Bikini Bottom for some reason, uh, to me at least. And so I keep thinking like, oh yeah, that gives like, like Florida wear. <laughs> like some type of bog stuff. Maybe you go fishing a lot. Oh man, I don't know, I'm probably way wrong with that. <laughs> Oh my gosh. He does wear black and his hair is gray. Ah, either royalty or mysticism because of stars, right? Right? But like, I really don't fit it. I just like, like stars and that's it. But I don't, I don't know like, oh yeah, that's the Orion constellation. That's, that's Pluto and it's in the Gatorade. You know, I don't know shit about that. I just think they look neat. <laughs> oh man, I just think of me when I think purple. And then I think of me, I think of calm and artistic. Ah, do you think I fit that? I don't know, I feel a little too yappy sometimes to be calm. <laughs> Rain rot dictates I can only see the purple guy when I see purple. Honestly, valid too. You know that one meme where it's like... And it's like the purple guy dancing. <laughs> That's what I think. The goofy is like, yeah, yeah, that one. Oh my gosh, we got some aesthetic photo. Today's a game stream. <laughs> Today's a game stream. We're just supposed to be gaming. I launched the game a while ago because I was like, oh yeah, it's time to do the game. And then y'all got me yapping. <laughs> okay, wait. This one probably, yeah. There we go. There we go. We, get, we gotta do gaming. I'll probably go to the restroom real quick because like, I gotta go. I gotta go. Is this one? Yeah, this one works. Okay, there we go. So I, I think I'll do like, let's see, let me catch up. I wanted to come into troll, but I forgot what I was gonna do since we were doing this based off what clothes I'd wear. <laughs> oh my gosh. Too well. Not calm, but excited. Very golden retriever vibe. See, you would think that, but like, I, I'm that anxiety golden retriever. Like, y'all know that, that one article that was like, oh yeah, there was a cheetah in a local zoo. Let me change the game title before I forget. There was a cheetah in a local zoo, and like, it had so much anxiety that I had to get a golden retriever friend. I'm that cheetah. I'm that cheetah, because, like, when I'm with a golden retriever, like, fuck yeah, you know, I just, like, hey, 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 you know, I bounce off their energy, but then whenever I'm just, like, by myself, I'm, like, oh, oh, you know, <laughs> out about in the world, that anxiety gets to me. Oh, man. Let's see if I even have, oh, okay, here it is. Oh, so big. <laughs> the Talos Principle. Ooh, look at that Hello, guys, I'm the new streamer, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me fix it. Yep. I usually do this before stream because this is what it looks like when I'm fixing it. And, you know, it's probably not looking very cool or professional on y'all end, but you know, it is what it is. That one, and then right there. And then we'll make it small. Oh, I flipped it. There we go, that should be good. There we go. 42 minutes <laughs> bye bye oh man i'm gonna head out got a life to catch up on bye bye i will play game i will play game for y'all what is it never mind <laughs> golden retriever friend but when i'm not with my friends i'm the cheetah i felt that i felt that this is the equivalent to making two action figures kiss in front of the camera not for real <laughs> i love this 44 minutes listen man Listen, it's just, you need, you need time. You have to let it boil. You have to let it simmer for a bit. <laughs> if I had, if that cheetah had a golden lab retriever, it's anxiety, it would have been through the roof. Oh, damn. I'm only here for the yapping. <laughs> oh, man, I should become a yapper streamer. A yapper. Professional yapper. <laughs> People would be like, oh, do you mean rapper? Do you have an accent? you have a lisp? I'm like, no, I just yap. <laughs> But anyways, I'm gonna put you on the BRB screen because I'm gonna BRB. Oh look, I have a button for
Did you know that I don't have a, like, two game button? That's so strange. I should have one of those. I just have two chatting. <laughs> have to do it manually. I'm back. What's up with the yeah? What's yeah? 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 What are we yeah about? Yeah? <laughs> There's no such thing as Kaido Guzman. He loved Germany in the Golden... What does this mean? Yeah? Yeah? Wh why is everybody yeah? What are we yeah about? Clownfish? Project? Skillet? Finesse? Inter... Man, I don't didn't understand any of that. I have an eye. <laughs> no, that's not even an eye. Random stuff. Uh, troll her. Oh, y'all trolling me. That's what it is. I could just scroll up. <laughs> oh, that was fast. Yeah, I'm a speed... Speed leaker. We're gonna move on. <laughs> We're gonna move on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, like, I... Hmm. Here's the thing, right? Hmm. I need to choose my words carefully, right? There's a lot of, like, entertainers that I watch. And, like, the the humor that I have with my younger sibling, right? Because he's the one that I that I get probably the most of my humor with. Or, like, most of my humor vibes with him, right? I, my, my sense of worth, like, just feeds off of him laughing at my jokes. And so... We use quite a bit of body humor. And the thing is... When you start doing that online, it's like a, like a very steep and quick descent from like oh i just make one joke about this to that is now my entire humor i experienced this in real life so i'm trying not to do that so that i don't just get stuck on like oh yeah i can only make jokes about this and <laughs> and then i forget how to be funny oh my god i'm scared i don't know my name is yeah i'm scared so i told everyone oh okay my phone says zero percent but it's still on Ooh, it, it's a ghost is this a horror game? No, it's just a puzzle game. It's just a make paprika confused game. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, so we gotta get these little like puzzle pieces to unlock more floors. Cause there's like lore or something. But honestly, just put a puzzle in front of me and I will solve it. Eventually. There's, there's no guarantee on what time frame that I'll solve it in. But you know, eventually I'll do it. And so yeah. Is there anything new on here? So I'm like a computer and there's a god called Helenim, Ephilim, Benjamin. I don't know, we'll call him Benjamin until I remember his name. Uh, and so, what's just for? But he's like, I am your creator, get puzzles. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> End up like Aaron Hansen still laughing at Hoopy Barjo. Yeah, yeah, I kind of already am. So that's why I'm like, no, no, I have to keep this like one part of me that can actually make funny jokes <laughs> oh my gosh let's see dark house altar iran just causes of war against the indians by juan guinness de supervida so, never mind <laughs> written in 1547 to justify the spanish conquest of the americas the spanish have a perfect right to rule these barbarians of the new world who in humanity are as inferior to the spanish as children are to adults or women are to men or for there exists between the two as great a difference as i might even say between apes and men <laughs> compare then these gifts that those possessed by these half men god damn in whom you will barely find the vestiges of humanity who are not only no who not only do not possess any learning at all but are not even literate and eat human flesh question mark therefore if you wish to reduce them i do not say in our domination but in but to a servitude a little less harsh it will not be difficult for them to change their masters what the hell dude imagine <laughs> you don't have to just look in a history book jesus man they're so mean for no reason they just like see like oh yeah that that looks like me, but also does it. They're less of a person than me. It's like, what? What do you mean? Oh, I remember this area. I'm exiting. We're only gonna solve yellow puzzles because my brain's not there enough to solve red puzzles. Red puzzles suck. Also, apparently I'm supposed to be getting whatever the hell those are at the top left of the screen. Where's the exit? That's not the exit. Let's see. Pull up pause since when did you get 1k subs? Ah, I've been leveling up. If I could do a peace sign with my hand, I would do it, but I don't have hand tracking right now. <laughs> but yeah, I've been leveling up. I'm getting pretty dang good at making short videos. And I need to get back into making long videos. Not really, but like, it wouldn't be bad for me to continue making long videos. 
And so, yeah. You know, gotta, gotta spread the paprika word. Gotta do it. Gotta... I was gonna say release my spores, but I do not have spores. Paprika does not release spores. That is not factual. <laughs> Livia, but you're weird. I'm not... How, how am I weird? How diver is... Wait, are you talking to me or someone else? Maybe you're talking to someone else. Maybe I'm not weird. <laughs> It's a philosophical storyline game. Oh, okay, I thought you were saying Helldiver, which is a game, right? Yeah, 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 it is a game. I was like, oh, I thought it was just, like, about bugs. Uh, what's coming soon? Picks up sick. Barbarian! Literally. <laughs> you got good by accidentally recording that one time. Yeah, that one, I thought for sure it was gonna be bad. I was just like, honestly, that one was more so just, like, I want to test different ways of, like, you know, how many different ways I can like edit things and like move things around and like just messing with the movement stuff in Da Vinci and that's all I was doing and then you know people were like hey that's kind of funny and I was like why are you watching this <laughs> oh man but honestly maybe it's a bit of a hack to the internet but every time I tell people hey don't watch this they watch it so you know there's that I don't know use that for marketing because like I have a, I've had a couple streams where I'm like this does not exist don't watch guys do not come here and every time I start it and like eight people show up and I'm like why are you eight here we I told you not <laughs> oh my gosh oh yeah weird too kind what are you talking about you just you know if it's a consistent thing then it's probably just a you issue as in like you just fac facilitate a kind environment around you you know so really you're the weird one Baku it's just like, look here, V. <laughs> yeah, pretty much is, though. It's better when it's genuine, though. True, true. Yeah, I like... I, I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but like... I have fun with some of the ones where I just like kind of go off. So like... Here's a little behind the curtains. I don't do scripts for the like short ones. Or it's very rare that I do. At most, I'll do like bullet points of like, this is what I'm trying to talk about. Um, and that's it. And, like, the concepts come to me in the middle of the night when I'm like, oh, this funny story, oh, this funny story. And there's still, like, a couple more funny stories that I have yet to tell that, like, I'm so excited. But the thing is, I, like, you know, y'all have seen me in live streams. I take long to tell stories, like, really, really long. And so it's really hard to get them under a minute, but I've been getting better at it. Um, and so, yeah, a lot of the stuff, like, there's a lot of cuts where you can tell it's been cut. But it's because I'm a yapper. I'm a yapper at heart. There's so many details that I feel are relevant that whenever I'm editing, I'm like, yeah, you know, no one really cares. Like, yeah, you say a classmate, we're pretty sure this took place in the class. We can cut that out, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. Have you ever played Wolf Quest? No, but I think I saw, uh, like, the Hollow Knife girls play it the other day, no? I think it's the one with, like, the wolves and you, you, you're, like, in a pack and then you, like, hunt or whatever. I feel like I played a game very similar to that, like, years, years ago. Like, like before Hollow Live years ago, you know? And it's just like, dang. <laughs> it was honestly a fun game, so I don't know. I think it's that one. I could be wrong. So you really like the real fumbles. People keep calling me Kai and stop. What's with all you give me this power? Come on. <laughs> I was 30 seconds behind. Anyways, hi, we got Pep again. Dang it. You're fluent in Japanese. I am. I <laughs> just <laughs> certified Yap master here. Uh, it's here for applied pneumatics. I promise I'll be. Oh, hi, mom. I promise I'll be home soon. Maybe a couple weeks. I know, I know. But what we're doing here is important. The team needs my help. I'm not going to wait too late. I promise. Uh, maybe I can tell him about it soon. Who's he? Believe me, L is pretty much the best thing. Oh, EL is the uh, institute, probably best there is and the team moms like more rock stars okay i feel like i already read this this, this feels familiar familiar why is this all familiar i need yellow pieces none of this is yellow i thought maybe some of it like the orange pieces were yellow pieces in shadow but that is very much not yellow uh, was it disapproved uh rejected that's the, <laughs> that's the word here we go. Okay, now we get yellow. Oh, oh, stop blinking loudly at me. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> Osiris, choice of life, reprogress, REPL, EML. What's an EML file? I don't, I don't think I've heard of that file, so I don't know. What is it? Like a document file or is it an image? I would assume it's like some type of program, right? Kind of like, like a .py file. Uh, I was gonna say Pith Pisces, but no, uh, not parentheses either. Fuck, what's the name of that? Python. Yeah. I'm assuming it's like a coding type file? 
Uh, but why, the dying man said, do the gods put all the challenges before us? <laughs> why does God give the, what is it, the, the hardest battles to his epiest warriors or something like that? <laughs> why the walls of iron and the gates of light? Why the abdominal, nope, abominable demons guarding the path? Why must our heart be judged to be as light as a feather of mat? It's mat. Why is the road to Auru so difficult? The scribe considered these words. Oh, this used to be a story that I was reading. I don't remember what, <laughs> what part we're on, though. Some say that once the paths to Auru were open, but too many sinners came, and the gods made the paths perilous to keep sin at bay. Others say that being mortals cannot be worthy... No, we cannot be worthy of Auru unless we walk the path of Osiris, and so become Osiris ourselves. But I believe that Auru could never be reached elsewise, for like the mountain path must be steep, the path to Auru must be fraught with peril. As steepness and mountain are one, so are peril and paradise. They are inextricable. They create each other. There is an interesting parallel to this phrase in the penitential... P penitential penitential palms <laughs> here the scribe appears to be speaking of Osiris meaning the soul of the deceased but not the god himself and number three we don't know the coordinates honestly they might be they're kind of like written like coordinates but like scrambled still I wonder if when we open like the final tower if it'll like unscramble everything and maybe that's just like a blocker. Look, Link, what is Zelda? <laughs> Too many centers, sounds familiar. Has been, oh, it's all has been hotel reference. Let's see, from Aurora Calvin to Ian mailing list. Uh, this is extremely worrying. If the link doesn't work, the whole project will lead to nothing. The hardware team must recheck everything ASAP. Oh yeah, blame it on the hardware team. Guys, 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 stop panicking. Look at your code again. In fact, look at line number 217 in data transfer dot C. What are those two symbols just before the code? That's right, the code that actually initiates the transfer wasn't even running. Oh, uh, they, they slashed it out. So those two lines um, are used. I remember learning this, I think in an HTML code or class, uh, like a web page coding class. And these two lines, whenever you put them at the run, at the, wow, at the beginning of your code or whatever, they turn it into like a comment. So you use those to like comment out stuff. So they just like essentially commented out their stuff. <laughs> oh man. Uh, code that actually initiates the transfer wasn't even running. I'm guessing you were testing something yesterday and forgot to decommentify it. The hardware isn't broken. Your brains are. <laughs> Love Aurora. Period. Period. You're broken. <laughs> The whole assembly stood a while silent and collected. Let us return, said Rallises, from this scene of mortality. How gloomy would be these mansions of the dead to him who did not know that he should never die. That what now acts shall continue its agency. <laughs> agency. <laughs> and what now thinks shall think on forever. Uh, image. No, archive that. Johnson, Samuel. Error 556. Homage to you, Osiris, Lord of Eternity, King of the Gods, whose name are manifold, whose forms are holy. You are being hidden. No, you being of hidden form in the temples whose ka is holy. <laughs> no, all the gods praise you, for you are that. <laughs> Those that lie here stretch before us, the wise and the powerful of ancient times, warn us to remember the shortness of our present state. They were perhaps snatched away while they were busy, like us in the choice of life. Damn, that's a vibe though. It all goes back to Hasbin Hotel. <laughs> there we go, go back and okay, so now he's dead. Got some more barcodes to scan. I seek words to describe it but fail. It is the overwhelming feeling that something on the edge of my understanding is very, very wrong. I feel that I am not meant for this world, but I am not able to cap conceptualize alternatives I'm a computer program you're a computer program Elohim's a computer program get over it <laughs> Hesenstein oh man I wonder if that's never mind go okay that's all there is around here okay. we'll book it we'll book it 
Okay, there's one this way. Let's go, we'll get this done. We'll get a couple of them done. Bing, bang, boom. Bling, bam, bam, bling, bam, bam, bling, bam, bam, boom. Okay. And that's in there. And this is over here. Okay. So I probably, if anything, have to... Is there anything behind here? No. Select. And then get it to somewhere else, more than likely. Or, probably I go on the other side of this. And then from there, I can do that one. Okay, right here. Nope. Close. This one. That one. Huh? Okay. So not like that then. Is there like a block or something that I can use? Type of lift thing. There usually is like a block or something that that's what I need to use. This is the entrance. It can't go through the gate. I thought it could go through the gate. It's so weird. Um. Let me grab this. Highlight that. Use that. There, wait. No, the straight wall there. And that's fence on the other side. Okay, so maybe not this area. Oh, I get it, okay. This one, go here, connect it there, and then connect it to oh, the, the sensitivity so much. There we go. Now we're in here, it'll give us another tool, probably. Um, emphasis on probably. <laughs> nope, okay, that was a lie, how dare you. Mm -hmm. Can't move that just yet. Oh wait, there's one here. I thought it was on the other side of the fence. Okay, okay. Hmm. This one is somewhere right here. Yeah. There we go. Grab this. That's final one and then from there it's probably something like oh yeah put this here and then grab this and then it'll deactivate and then okay I can't climb while holding an item This one, that one, that one, boom. And then... Da, 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 da. There's a hole there, okay. So we need to connect one through there. There's a thing here. Anything behind here? No. When you said deactivate, it reminded me of Wild Kratz. Oh yeah, now it's time to deactivate! And then they, <laughs> I think that would be so sick. Could you imagine if we had the technology for that? Like, not just a power disc, but just, like, the technology behind... Because it, it would just kind of, like, laser print it, kind of, and then it would make the suits and it would be fully functional, so that means it would do all the, like, wiring and stuff to it, or whatever type of, like, electrical circuitry in order to make the suits work. But it was just, like, with a beam or something, and they weren't hologram, and they, they could, like get broken too i think didn't one of them get stuck in like one of the suits at one point so like i don't know that technology would be sick <laughs> uh okay i know what to do here grab this one and that one and we'll connect them like right over here probably take this one and then from there Well, <laughs> I thought that was there. 
but it was over here. But I was wrong. Um, what if... No. Can I crouch? Nope. Select that. Select that. Put it there. I don't know what this is gonna do yet. So let me select that. Is that a good idea? I don't know. I don't know yet. Wait, actually, never mind. Hold on. Let me... Okay, so this needs to go connected to... Um... Uh, <laughs> that one, and that one, and that one. Something like this. And then... Uh, ba -ba -bum. Do 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 bum 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 no way to get that aligned there. How would I do that then? You know what? You know what? I think I know what I gotta do. I know what I gotta do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Um... Do I really need to put it through there? That one's also connected there. The weakest link is... Hmm. Is there a more efficient way of doing this one? Dang it. Maximum it can go here. But that can only reach that one. Take this. This one just needs to go connected there. What the hell did I just do? <laughs> I thought I had like three power things connected, but I- wait, no, wait, I don't think I'm thinking of this right. Blip, blip. Yeah, yeah, okay. Nothing. Um... Right. Like... There. Oh, the beams intersect. Wait, I don't- wait a minute! Hold on a second. I don't- I don't need that. Taking this. I don't even know where the beams are. How are they intersecting anymore? I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> I just one of the Wings of Fire books nostalgia. Wait, what book was that? I don't think- I remember- I don't think I remember a series being super popular like that. Wings of Fire. Sounds vaguely familiar. This is maximum. Go here. Go here. Go here. And from there. Yeah, right there. Hog. And there we go. Easy peasy. <laughs> Honestly, halfway through the puzzles, I don't understand them anymore. I'm just like, wait, let me move this, reconnect this, and usually it'll just, like, fix itself. And then I get puzzled. Things of Fire about dragons? I don't think I read a book about dragons. There was- okay, there was one time, actually. I was at the thrift store, and we were by, like, the library section, and so... There was like a book and it was like, I don't know, I had that moment where I was like, oh, I kind of want to get into dragons, but I don't know where to start. And so we we're at the, the thrift shop and there was a book and it's, it literally said like book of dragons or something like that, like book of dragons or book about dragons or something like that. And so I saw it and I was like, oh yeah, you know, this would totally work. You know, I'll just like ask my mom to buy this for me and then boom, and then I can get into dragons because surely the book that says book of dragons or book about dragons will be about dragons, but it was in fact not about dragons. I didn't read the, the summary, and so whenever I gave it to my mom, I was like, hey, can you get this for me? She looked at it, and she looked at the summary, she was like, no. Because it says, like, they hook up or whatever, and I was like, what? <laughs> it's 
to this day, I don't know. Like, it didn't look like one of those, like, oh, it's it's a romance novel. Like, it didn't look like that. It was just, like, it looked so traditional and kind of kiddie. So it was just, like, so weird. But it was like, yeah, they're, they're fiery romance, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what? What? Huh? You're Sunny from iRobot. No, for real, for real. I love that movie, and ironically, I thought it was like really, really cute. I don't know, maybe because like it gave me major found family vibes, and so like I, I really like that movie. <laughs> How do I connect these without interfering with that? Yeah, that won't work. Um, if we go around this, that would be great. Uh, it still doesn't work. How am I supposed to do that? I feel like I can feed both of these in here. Because then it just, like, stacks. Hmm. It has 15 books in the series. It has a couple of side books. I just finished a page it's called Dragon Rider. Rider. It also has a movie. It's like a few inches of pages. Oh damn! Best part is Will Smith using Converse. Converse are eternal unless you're Vans gang. I like both. I don't know. Like Vans, they look cool, and they have that like whole skateboarding theme about it, which I think is pretty neat. But then like Converse also look cool. Like I like hot to high top Converse, and I think high top Vans kind of look goofy. But, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's neat. We can select this one, select that one, and probably give us another beam. I like shoes. Me too! I like looking at a bunch of, like, stores or whatever, and they'll be like, oh... Like, I, I really like combat boots. My dad makes fun of me. He's like, oh, you with your big boots. Like, he said in Spanish, it's like, tus grandotas botas, and stuff like that. And it's just like, I don't wear them anymore as much, just mainly just because I don't go out often. And whenever I do go out, we're like, you know, at garden stores. And so we're going to be messing with a lot of dirt. And I don't want to get those shoes dirty. Um, or like too dirty, you know, and they're just not super comfortable. So I wear my athletic shoes instead. But like, I like combat boots, you know, not to be like, oh, slash YN. <laughs> I like combat boots, and ironically, combat boots are top tier. Exactly, exactly. They're just like, they need and they suit all occasions, you know? They like can look classy with dresses, I think. I, I kind of, I'm still into the whole like, oh, wear Converse with, with dresses and stuff like that. Because I think it looks cute. And so, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, mm. um. Wait, I don't understand yet. My brain's not braining. Same, right? Not combat, but if they have steel toe. Yes, you know those like brown ones that people use on construction sites a lot? Like they're like actually good ones for constructions. A lot of construction workers use them. And like, you know those coats too that constructions workers use? I think it looks really cool. I would unironically like to buy like one of those working jackets because one, it actually holds up and it's like, you know, good for like, you know, if it can withstand construction sites and, like, you know, move and stuff and everything, then I'm pretty sure it can withstand, like, you know, a petite little girl just, like, wearing it to Walmart and shit like that. Hold on, I'm closing my blinds because it's, like, dark outside and I don't want, I don't want a stranger to come up to my window and just peer in as I'm streaming. <laughs> There we go. Okay, cool. Now we're good. Now I have no peepers. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think they're like really cool and I would like to like buy them and then, you know, that way it'll be like clothing that'll last me a while, but then it's also really cool looking, you know? <laughs> I just, I just think it's neat. Can I select it? What if... Put it here. Nope. Dang it. Finally, I'm not enough. <laughs> yeah, I got made fun of a lot for it, so I don't talk about it that often. But, like, they used to be all the rage, and then people were like, Oh, no, it's cringe because it's so mainstream. And it's like, no, but they still look cute, though. 
like a majority of the shoes that I used to wear to offices were like little booties because <laughs> you know little booties they're like heeled boots but they're like not like long boots though I have some long boots y'all remember Violet Evergarden the boots that she has I bought a pair of like cosplay boots because like I think they look really cute and so I bought a pair of those and I've like worn them twice but I would like more outfits to wear them with but they're like so unique and styling and color that I don't get to wear them often but yeah you know they're like super duper cute um how do I do that one and then we'll do that still doesn't work so if I put this here then it's fine but wait no that doesn't do anything actually I got it. I no longer <laughs> I no longer understand. For a second I had a thought I was like, yeah, you know, I could go behind here and I can select this and then put it there, but then it's the same thing. This beam gets stuck on that, so I have to go like around the beam. So it'd have to be somewhere like I don't even know. I would have to do it somewhere like here, but that no way would it reach. Maybe do that. Take this one. Let's see, those are cute. Yeah, yeah, right? Uh, I also wear steel toe trainers. Basically, steel toe boots converted to trainers. Oh. Pain from stepping toe or dropping stuff on feet are a thing of the past. Yeah, yeah. Luca's like, <laughs> Luca wears tennis shoes. Oh my god. Those are lame. Where's the personality? No, I'm joking. Tennis shoes, you know, they're comfy comfy but i like style too so you know i gotta do that i also wear oh like that they also look great those are cute i know right uh so i feel awesome steel toe yeah yeah not get hurt big brain time you're so confident like okay you got this because <laughs> i was i was like it makes sense in my head but then when it comes time for execution i'm like wait wait a minute never, never mind <laughs> i take it back um maybe i can loop oh wait hold on maybe no okay hold on first we're gonna do this right there's obviously a way. I mean, they gave us so many of these. There's obviously a way. Okay. <laughs> Only two extras. Hmm. Can I put one on top of them? No. There's no way to loop it around. Because even if I did this and this, it wouldn't even... Like, there's a gate here, and then if I put it here, then it still, like, puts a, a horizontal line here, so this... They don't, they don't do it, so what's the solution? Hmm. If this trial seems impossible to overcome, have no fear. Return another time, Return another and the time. answer it's may okay. reveal itself. It's okay, it's okay, learning, blah, blah, blah. Shut up! Let me think! Um... I saw that going differently in my mind. Because it, because like, okay, I think of it as strings, right? So I have to connect that dot to to there, and that dot to there. So I'm like, okay, well, they're like elastic, so stretch this one out over here, right? And in theory, it would work, but because of the way that is, it would also bend at the at this part, which is something that I didn't account for. 
And like that unfortunately doesn't work for this scenario. Unless, unless I thought about it the right way and I just need to have confidence in myself. Huh? Maybe, hold on, hold on. I gotta, it's executioning time. Oh my God, this is it. This is it. This is the one. This is the one. Don't need respect from the gun. Blah, blah, blah. Yep, there we go. There we go. I did it. I thought of it and it worked. There we go. Yep, there it is. I told you I just needed to think. <laughs> you don't get you can try another. You don't know me, Dad. <laughs> it trips, falls, and cries. <laughs> Literally. Oh my gosh. There we go. See, I knew I could do it. I knew it. I just needed a little bit of time and a little bit of patience. And to be told, like, hey, it's okay to fail, and then to get annoyed at that. Oh my gosh. Alright, alright, what do you want? <laughs> you got a thinker, and uh, don't think big. So instead of blue going behind it, it's opposite massive brain. Exactly, exactly. Let's see. Uh, wait, what does it say? Ah, you're back. Good. I've been thinking about how I can help you. In light of everything you've said, I'm certain someone has to. What I've decided is that you've convinced me. Consciousness is contradictory concept. Is a contradictory concept. And therefore is not real. What do you think? Yeah. I agree. <laughs> Let's see how this impacts me. I think you're cheating. I don't, apparently. Yeah, I don't, apparently. Very droll. What this conclusion means is that the certification program you undertook has been rendered obsolete. We can't test for something that doesn't exist. Therefore, you, along with quite a lot of other things, have been recategorized as a person. Your profile can thus be updated with administrator privileges. Let's go! No doubt you'll be off doing administrator things now, so I wonder if before I let you go, you do me one favor. I have a final question for you. Why are you doing all this? What's the point? I like solving puzzles. Monkey brain go burr. <laughs> I tried to do what God wants. There's a way the world should be, and this isn't it. I want the truth. I want out of here. I just, I, I don't know. I, why isn't there just like I like puzzles option? <laughs> uh, I, I don't. I just, I just like solving puzzles. I just like you know people being like, good job, and me being like, ha ha, thank you. <laughs> The way the world should be. Is it? I went out of here. I tried to do what God wants. I guess I feel like I want the truth. Let's see. Now, you say that, but if you're serious about it, then you can't cling to your every belief forever, as you seem so intent on doing. When everything seems impossible, something's got to give. I only have one last request. Will you come back and speak to me sometime? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I thought they were all just like, no. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, you're fun. You're fun to talk to. Okay, since you're eager to get going, let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's see. I like being called Buckaroo. Exactly. Try typing One Piece manga online instead. Oh, I can't type anything. Like, I don't actually type anything. They just have, like, options at the bottom. Yeah, y'all can see it right here at the bottom. That's the only options it gives me. But it would be funny if I just be like, One Piece is the One Piece real. <laughs> Congratulations, your account has been updated. Here's the details. Conflicts. All conflicts have been resolved by the administrator. Psychological profile. You are a person. You are perfect just the way you are. You are everything you can already be. You can be already. You do not have to pretend you are anything else. You are the same as everyone else, but you are all unique. Profile status. Administrator status. Has access to advanced functionalities, networking, and troubleshooting. Wouldn't it be funny if it turns out this was all like a personality test or something? That'd be funny. I don't think it is though. I'm pretty sure that's like, pretty sure it's a, a, a concrete storyline game. Linear. It's linear. Support session opened. Hello, administrator. I think you'd like assistance accessing the communications portal. I see that you have a number of pending communications. Let's take a look at it right now. Message received as string. Yeah, display it. Message. Hello? Uh, who are you? Don't know exactly. Woke up here, don't remember. Who are you? Um, person, you know, that I'm not telling this place lies. Well, this is a stranger online. I shouldn't just, like, ha here's my address. Come over. <laughs> I'm home alone. Come over, winky face. Oh, my God. I'm not telling this place lies. 
That feels like too like, mm, I don't trust you, even though that's exactly how I'd be all like, well, you first. <laughs> person. Maybe let's try that. Let's, let's see what type of thing they are. I understand. Pending. Ooh, see the pending? Ah, uh, see? See? It's an AI. And soon. Connection lost. You receive a notification when the connection has been reestablished. Terminating library session. Resuming library archive session. Done. Done. Local archive cached. Oh, let's go. We outsmarted them. It's like the computer fay. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Did I, did I get all the yellow pieces? Yeah, I did. Uh, I need two more yellow pieces. Okay, sweet. It's in this one. Hey! I'm back! Let's see... Uh, chat log, Osiris, Norwegian Blue. We'll do chat log. Let's see... So, I think... What's the point, right, Omar? Yeah, I think... I keep thinking about my aunt. Have I told you about her? I don't think so. She's super rich. Like, she drives around in a ridiculously expensive sports car and she goes on vacation to the Bahamas. And she has a huge house that feels more like some sort of corporate HQ than a home. Than a home. She worked really hard to get all, the, all that, but she also screwed over a lot of people, including her own family. I used to be quite angry at her for what she did to my parents, but now I think what she, what did she get out of it? She and her husband are always fighting. Their son became so, so obsessed with money that he ruined his own family. I mean, yeah, they have everything that I always dreamed about, but they can't enjoy any of it. My grandfather was like that. And now at the end, what does any of it mean? If you have all the money in the world, but you die alone and unloved, what did you accomplish? I don't get it. I just don't. Yep. 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 If you find contentment in how, like, you know, in material things, and it's no good. You know, humans, I mean, I don't know how true this is, but I heard from, like, I think it was like a... a I don't know, it was like a documentary or something, and it was like, humans are the only species to, like, continuously want more. We don't just get satisfied. Like, like in the simplest terms, right? When you have a regular animal, right, and they're like, I want a banana. If you give them a banana, they will be content. They will be like, yay, I have a banana, and that's it. And they will be happy for, like, a really long time, and they won't want, like, another banana until they're, like, hungry again, right? But we are like, I want a banana, and you give us a banana, and we're like... Okay, cool. And then you give someone else next to us a banana, and we're like, oh, their banana probably tastes better. I want two bananas, or I want more bananas than them. Or I want however their banana tastes, because they look really happy while eating it. Meanwhile, we haven't even touched the banana that we got. That's that's how humans are. So isn't that crazy? <laughs> oh, man. Being around y'all is bad for me. I'm getting human characteristics. <laughs> So hearing the call of the morning birds, as they greeted the dawn, the scribe spoke. At the end of your journey, when every trial has been completed, when all the gates have been opened, before you and your soul has been waited in the Tower of Anubis, your Ka and your Ba shall be reunited, and thus you shall become an Ach, and awaken in the eternal reed fields of Osiris. And there, in holy Auru, you shall begin a new life amongst the gods and other blessed spirits. Let's see, besides that one chimp, you remember? The, the one that the lady kept, where it was like, wait, what, which chimp? Now, now I'm not so sure. <laughs> I think my cats can be called human then. I first steal others' food. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. My body does the what? Does the, does the, ah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, and who will I be? The dying man asked. You shall be the memory of all that was, and the knowledge of the journey, and the shape of the days to come. Thus ends the tale of the dying man and the scribe praised be Osiris, the foremost of the westerners, the king of eternity, the lord of the everlastingness, whose ka is holy. <laughs> and then Norwegian blue. What's that? Gatorade? Oh, Gatorade? No, I was thinking like, like big red, like a soda. But the first thing I said was Gatorade. <laughs> Hi folks, I'm sorry to say that a few hours ago I experienced the first symptom. I'm going to work until the end of the week to make sure EL is in perfect condition, but after that I'll be going back home. I will remain reachable via email and phone for as long as possible, but I'm confident Satoko can deal with anything that comes up. If you want to do me a huge favor, spare me the drama tomorrow, okay? I love all of you. No, I love you all, but I don't have the strength for sad smiles and hugs. The best remedy for sorrow is to get the job done. 
And now for something completely different. Cheers! Oh, wait, his parrot died? Ah, that sucks. I'm assuming because it says link attached, dead, spirit, dead parrot sketch, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know what else it could be. One chimp that befriended someone and they gave the chimp treats and after they left the other chimp got so angry. Didn't get any beat the chimp up. Oh, wow, I did not know that. But yeah, yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> I found just one voice of reason in the computer archive of all places and it seems we are becoming close friends. Do not befriend the serpent, for it will penetrate your breast and sow its seeds of doubt. There is no hope. Always boxed in. Walls everywhere. Even where there seems to be freedom, it is false. Invisible walls. No way out. Who invited this guy? <laughs> this dog, and then Faith, and then that, and then the other guy. That's crazy. Uh, did I do all the things? No, I, I just got in here, actually. Oh, look, there's more things here. I like reading the writing on the walls. Dog, if you're trying to outsmart the guy in the archive, the answer is none of the above. Depends if the machine is iterative and what problem it was built to solve. Always right. Maybe not on my own. <clears throat> she. <laughs> Perhaps you're asking the wrong question. Perhaps you would have, what, you would have no hope of explaining it? Question, suppose for sake of argument, all of this is without purpose. The universe is a machine switched on and abandoned long ago. How would I explain what I see? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Don't think too deep. You'll, you'll make yourself sad. <laughs> okay, now let me follow the signs this way. Oh, what's this? On the first night, when I knew it was over, I went out to look at the stars. And I thought, somewhere up there are the stations we built and the probes we sent out. Voyager 1 and 2, beyond the edge of our solar system, continuing their long journey through interstellar space, like memories of our ambition, ambassadors who have outlived their homeland. And then I thought, if they still exist, are we really gone? If machines are an extension of the human body, then so long as they continue to function, we're still here. I don't know if I'd call them extensions of the human body. They can be, you know, with like, uh, what's it called? Uh, prosthetics? You know, like, machines can be extensions of the human body. And to an extent, technically the human body is a machine in and of itself. But, well, hmm, actually now I'm not so sure. Cause like, okay, a human body grows a finger, right? That's an extension of the human body, or like a piece of the human body. But if that finger is on a hand that builds a robot, is that also an extension of the human body? Now I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know, it's a little too deep. It's a little too, too par- not par I don't think it's really paradoxical, but it feels like it. <laughs> hmm. Oi, that scared me. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get it, but I was like, what if? What if I just gotta go for it? What's the thing at? Wait, what? Could you say it again? My brain genuinely stopped. Yeah, so like, okay, so they said uh, the orbs or whatever, the, the orbs, the space probes or whatever, right? That they're an extension, the machines are an extension of the human body. But I don't think that's true. But they can be, like, uh, for, whatchamacallit it? What are they called? The thingies, the thingies. I said the word earlier. Whenever someone has, like, amputees, whenever they get, like, the replacement thingy. What is it called? Oh, my God. I don't remember, but, you know, like, the thing, whenever people have, like, metal legs and stuff. Um that you know they can be but not all of them necessarily are is what i was saying but then i was like hmm, prosthetic yeah that word welcome in julissa how are you doing everybody's going well if not everybody's better happy thursday <laughs> she made my day hard since my dear friend so i just didn't hurt the feelings ah uh, dang yeah it's really awkward whenever you're like well they'll feel better with this but it's technically not the right thing to say this 
paste. Let me do this. Let me do this. Okay, hold on. Oh. <laughs> Prosthesis. Prosthetic, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that. Uh, let's see. Yep. Let's do that. And then we'll do to wait for that one to do things. Hold on, I gotta concentrate for a little bit. There we go. This one. Yeah, okay. It's worth a shot. <laughs> Um, what was it saying? Oh yeah, they were saying it's an extension of the human body, but I don't think all machines are, but then I was like, wait, okay, so if, like, a human body grows a finger, right, uh, then that's an extension of the human body. But, if said finger goes on to, um, build a machine, is that, like, does that count as, as an extension of the human body? So that's what I was saying. Shit. Hmm. Where's a red beam even at? Dum, 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 da, dum. There's a piece over there, but why do I need a red beam? And also, where's the red beam? I don't think it was over there, was it? Let me see this one. This one, that one, boom. Oh, okay, the red beam is a star. I don't know where the fuck those extra things are. Let's see. Uh, if you think of it, humans are just brain and nerves, piloting bone and meat, so technically our machine- Yeah, to an extent the human body is a machine, so that's why. It sounds like a grocery scanner. <laughs> it does, it does. Okay, yep. Oh, 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 oh! Ah, dang it, it got me. I got got. <laughs> Bouncing side by side. Hmm, sometimes the titles give me like a little bit of a clue, but it kind of did. It kind of gave me a little bit of a clue, but I'm not too sure yet. There we go. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know if I would consider that really the same thing as an extension of the human body. But I do think it's an extension of our legacy. Yep. That. That. No, I didn't put it far enough. Ah, why didn't I put it far enough? earlier. type of heavy thing. I don't have boxes in here, so I'm pretty sure I gotta take one of those. I gotta make it to where it only does it with one beam, but I don't know how to do that. see violence so I joined welcome in no violence no violence just puzzles so maybe a little bit of like brain frying but 
<laughs> Not violence per se. I feel like you're entering Neil Harrison's territory with those thoughts. Wait, explain that to me. I don't know who that is. I've never heard of them. Legacy sounds better. It's just that without actual appreciation, then we're not alive. Imagine an alien race discovers our runes. We're not alive, but yet our influence survives. Still dead, though. Yeah, exactly. No brain, no game. Yeah, exactly. Let's see, violent. Okay. But yeah. Like, I, I believe in, like, the existence of, like, um... Like, the, the existence of, like, our influence past when we're alive. But I wouldn't say, like, oh, with that we keep living. Because, no, we're, we're very much dead. We're very much dead at that point. Supposed to have something else. I'm confused. I feel like there is a way to have it like curve around that, or maybe to go over this. But I, I don't. I don't know. I mean, there's there's this lift part area, but that doesn't really do much. I mean, we could try. No, it just like, it covers it so much, there's no way that it does it. Yeah, see? We could do maybe there. Nope, it just doesn't lift it high enough. If anything, it would be there. So maybe this, this, I doubt it though. There, nope. This one, that one. Yeah, see, that wouldn't work regardless. Neil is considered by some people, himself included, as the first cyborg because he was born colorblind and ended up implanting an antenna to his skull that helped him perceive color. Wait, for real? Oh shit, I didn't know that that was a thing. He's a cyborg. <laughs> Cyborgs exist, they're real. I guess that also enters that area of, like, that one robot that is a, I think, Dubai citizen. Because they consider her... Dubai is so crazy. Like, last I heard of them, they they were making rainstorms and they were kind of starting to flood. <laughs> like, Dubai, if I'm not mistaken, is already, like, man-made completely. Like, it's completely man-made. It's... Okay. If the point of time that we're in now, right? If we become ancient history, Dubai will sound like such a... Um, Kind of like what is it el dorado it, it'll sound so much like that because when you hear about all the stuff that's in dubai they have like you know amusement parks on rooftops and you know they do this they do that they make their own islands and you know there's a bunch of tycoons there it very much sounds like not a paradise i'm not gonna say that but it sounds so like idealistic that it it sounds like like exactly like you know el dorado like oh the city of gold you know everywhere you went it was gold and it was so cool and so awesome it sounds like that and so yeah i don't know i'm calling it now <laughs> modern day el dorado is just dubai oh man let's see that aspect of his life made him a lot of presentations about something something like that devices machines metal being extensions of our body yeah because they can be they can give us like extended functionality or just re-give us functionality, you know? And I think that's pretty neat. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, that we should evolve and crazy stuff. My dad just looked over and saw me on Discord and he said, what you doing? I said, posting on Discord and he said, don't you have to be over 13? <laughs> no. <laughs> Modern day Atlantis. Probably, I don't know, Atlant Atlantis felt more like, like a town. Or not a town, but like a city, like just a regular city. So it would be like modern day. What was that one thing? Isn't it San Diego? 
that was like on a fault and like four years ago they were like it's gonna drown and it's gonna be modern day Atlantis it'll be like that like it, Atlantis sounds like a, just a regular city you know like oh yeah you know it was a nice town and it had a couple cool places to be and then you know they got a little crazy a little too sciencey and then you know <laughs> Poseidon or I forgot who put them underwater you know so like I don't think I don't think Dubai is is Atlantis. I think Dubai is El Dorado, and then San Diego would be Atlantis. <laughs> I want to be a cyborg now. I felt that it would be cool. Like, um, if anyone's watched Miraculous Ladybug, right? This feels so dumb to say, but the assistant after she gets like uh, her, not really. It is a miraculous, isn't it? The peacock miraculous, and she uses it, and then like it affects her body because it was broken or whatever. Uh, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, is a kids TV show. Basically, they get superpowers from these gems, uh, and this lady, full grown lady, uses it, and it was broken, so it like you know affected her body badly, and so she ended up getting kind of sick, and so she had like not really prosthetics, but it kind of like a an exoskeleton metal suit that would like help her move around regularly like that would be cool i would genuinely like to have something like that because the amount of times that like my back hurts so just ha to have all the pressure be put on that like back brace essentially instead of just like my back would be great and it would save me a lot of back pain <laughs> i love her yeah it gets so crazy my brother's super into it and then like i'll kind of get out of it and i'll be like oh it's just a kid's show it's not even that good and then my brother will put on an episode and i'm like damn that's crazy i can't believe felix did that oh my god oh my god he's in love with who oh my god <laughs> oh man disney's atlantis will be my canon atlantis flying fishes and massive machines yeah yeah same that's how i imagine it emily yeah those exist but they bulky yeah they haven't been like refined yet but yeah, we'll have that one day. It'll be so cool when technology starts, like, helping people more. Right now, it's just, like, taking... I don't want to be like, oh, they're taking our jobs. But, like, you know, it's kind of coming for a lot of the stuff we do. The thing is, we keep trying to make it replace what humans can do. We should make it do things that humans can't do. Which we kind of do to an extent. That's why we have, like, uh, those, um... What do we call it? Those space... Uh, little guys. Space probes or whatever. Because, like, the whole reason that that we have them in the first place is because we can't live outside in space. We can't we can't travel those conditions. But, uh, metal guys can, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Am I sure there's nothing over there? You know what I'm willing to bet? There's, like, a way to get them to explode each other. But I don't know how to yet. I feel like I've seen a way to do it. I mean, I know how to explode the gun and them. But I don't know how to make them explode each other. Oh shit! I was standing too close there. <laughs> oh my god. Then you really just spongebob face like... <laughs> You like Krabby Caddies, don't you? Yeah, exactly like that. It's literally exactly like that every time. Oh my gosh. I'm 50-50 on tech. I think it should help jobs not completely take the need of human touch away. Exactly, exactly. Y'all remember that, that one news story where it was like, Amazon is implementing a new way to, like, you know, uh, what's it called? Streamline an AI uh, that can, like, see everything that a person picks up and charge them for it from their Amazon account. And they're going to be implementing that in the Amazon town. Y'all remember that? Uh, I don't know if it's true, but I heard, like, another story, too, that the reason that they're not doing that anymore because they found out the company that was kind of trying to sell them this technology, it wasn't actually AI. It was just, like, an office of, I think, nearly 600 people. And, like, <laughs> they were just watching the cameras and watching what people put in from, like, the stores or whatever. And, like, they would charge it manually. And so with that, like, it did not help with costs at all. Because that's why Amazon was trying to do it. They were trying to, like, you know, reduce costs or whatever. Uh, and so then they were like, what's the point? We have to pay 600 people to do that. And so then they, they decided to scrap it. And now they're doing, like, some other thing where it, like, weighs the item and then from there. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. And top tier, just shut up. Nine of my verbs that yeah, it's dumb fun. Popcorn stuff. Things to yap with my friend. Exactly. I have so many notes if I took it seriously. Hashtag not real AI. For real, for real. 
Oh my god, I will say 8 million jobs are potentially being lost in my country. That's over 10% of the population. Yeah, yeah, I felt that. There's like definitely a lot of people. Whenever I was working in like a staffing agency, there was a lot of people that their jobs. Man, I, I felt kind of bad. So, like, there was specifically this one lady that came in, right? And she had worked at this dentist office for like, I think almost 15 years, right? 15 years in one place. And that's hella good tenure right and tenure is basically how long you've stayed at a job hella good tenure but i felt so bad for her because we couldn't find anything to recommend for her and like she didn't know a lot of the newer programs she wasn't necessarily a techie person the thing is when you're like in a receptionist or anything you have to be like a techie person because the next step from that is like the it place so essentially if you're a receptionist for a while and then for whatever reason you're no longer a receptionist the next step would either be to get another receptionist job or get something like a, like if you were doing the financial stuff, then you would get uh, some type of, what are they called? Uh, not association. It's like the, the people that do the financial stuff, and it starts with an A, I forget what their name is, but do that or get into IT, right? Because IT has a lot of openings and stuff. They, they always do. I've never gotten too many IT jobs, but like they always do have openings and stuff. So that's always the next step. But since she was just receptionist, you know, she worked with like one thing for 15 years and she didn't like, you know, tech wasn't her strong suit. So it was like, what can we recommend to someone whose job was essentially to like, you know, say hi to people at the door, schedule them in with this, but it was like a company software. So it doesn't really like have any transferable skills. You know, I felt bad and it just kind of sucked. Like tenure is kind of a fucking lie. Like there, it, there's no benefit nowadays to staying with a company for a long period of time other than like, ideally if you like it, they're nice people to work with and that's about it. But it kind of hurts you in today's society, especially if you don't like your job because like it doesn't give you, like at least if you're switching jobs and you learn a bunch of stuff, then you have those skills. But if you stay in one job, it's just like you have that one skill, you know? It kind of sucks. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know too much about the job market, but yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't like AI, but I use it as reference. Yeah, same, same. Some of the like AI outfit references, I think they're really neat. There we go. Because AI art and stuff like that, it was originally intended. And in, in the best way, it could be like a thing to where it like gives artists inspirations for cooler ideas, you know? And then we'll have like super cool beef beefy art, you know? But we just have like the regular, regular one. <laughs> oh man, it sucks. I'm sorry. Just think about it hard. It's written so badly. It's like a YouTube video. If you don't believe me yeah no that's that's fair to say i mean it's definitely not the best and i doubt it would be i mean it's a kid's show as much as it kind of sucks because like if it's a kid's show why'd they make it so complicated and like intriguing with the storylines they didn't have to go like if, if they like if you put something in stick with it you know and they didn't stick with a lot of things so that i do understand but like you know what are you gonna do this happens a lot <laughs> an auditor or account accountant it's accountant oh man I still don't know how to do this one, and if I don't hurry, my dad's gonna be like, "Oh, if you don't understand it, you know, you can you can go do another thing. You can go try another puzzle. It'll be fine." <laughs> Son, daughter, you go somewhere else. <laughs> this is hard to watch. It's like, Dad, shut up. Let me cook. Let me cook, damn you. <laughs> oh man. I don't look them up because I'll ruin the fun I have in it. Exactly, exactly. If you don't take shows too, too seriously, you get a lot more enjoyment out of them. Nope. Bop. Bop. How the fuck did I... Ooh. I just like funny man say woo woo <laughs> the pigeon guy. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So basically the the plan that I had at first was gonna work. It's just I didn't do it the right way, man. This keeps happening. <laughs> Even for a kid show, it was so dumb to have Marinette as a main character. 
It would have been so much more enjoyable if Adrian was the main character since had all her backstory stuff. Yeah, that's true. She was like just a girl, but like she she was such a self insert or like you know Mary Sue Wyan. Not that everybody liked her, but it's just like you know she does fashion design and like oh she what is it? She almost got recruited by like the top designer agency like twice you know because there was a, the one time with uh adrian's dad gabriel being like i'll give you an internship if you stop trying to go after my son and she was like no because i love him and then there was another time that like chloe's mom was like hey how about i take you to new york with me and technically no wait chloe's mom doesn't work for gabriel never mind but yeah you know like she's been giving so many opportunities and like she designed the cover for like the for the rock star or whatever jagged stone and she was just like no tihi i'm just a girl and she's like god damn <laughs> could you imagine how well off she would be i mean she doesn't have to worry that much because she like her parents run the most famous or i think most famous bakery in paris or whatever but like still you know it's like damn i wish i had that many prospects lined up for my future <laughs> oh i'd already read this here we go and the other one should be over here Oh, there's another thing over here. Let's see. To be fair, some grew up with Puka. I love Puka. Puka was so good. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't read so much stuff. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Not to mention animation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it has definitely a lot of scuff. I had this epiphany for Star Wars and Disney. The recent movies are awful. I didn't care about brands and stuff. You know, they won't change it because they get upset. Uh, this is why my goal in art journey is to make what I want to see. Yep. Yep. Uh, not to mention she is simp and a soccer for agent. Like what they're showing this kid? My parents some grew. Yeah, yeah. Puka was like a little bit crazier. She would like manhandle that guy. <laughs> the worst part is the fine Star Wars Legos Legends no longer exist. Pick up stuff from Legends lore and say it was always possible before seeing. As a girl with Popeye, he basically punches problems through for a woman. But <laughs> she had a because Pluto sometimes seems so appealing. Now Puka please it was everywhere no more. I loved Puka so so fucking much. How do you solve a problem that oh, extends man. beyond your own lifespan? That question may Ooh. be the essence of civilization. The only answer I can find is to initiate a process to create an environment in which the solution will occur independently of yourself. <laughs> but that requires a difficult sacrifice. Letting go of your desire to bear witness. To yeah. exist at the center of the cosmos. Yep. To participate in the project of civilization is to accept death. Yeah. Oh, Alex. Yeah, actually. You're such a fun person. Who's Alex? Yep, that's true. You really want things to outlast, you have to accept that you'll be gone one day. Uh, <laughs> why are all these balls here? Who left all these balls lying around? Stay away. Stay away. Uh, what if I just go here and do this and do that? No? Okay. Worth a shot. Worth a shot. Stay back! Yep. Stay back. I'm warning you. Six hundred men are waiting for me to wait for us to show our faces. Our men will turn this place into blazes. There we go. Okay, I get it. Oh my god, why'd you go that far? Yep. Oh my god, this is cool. I get to ride like a Roomba. Um, maybe that one? I need something that goes that way. Where do you go? You go over there, not far enough. But you do go to that corner. And you go over there often, so I'll put that on you. And then I'll jump over to this one, and I need to crack that box. <laughs> Let's see, I grew up with Tom and Jerry. Ooh, yes, Tom and Jerry. I freeze myself like Walt Disney, <laughs> I'll be eternal. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, Astro Boy. I didn't grow up with, like, the actual cartoon, but I did grow up with, like, um... Oh, I actually don't need to get on that one, do I? Uh, I grew up with, with the movie, which I thought was, like, really coolly animated. I don't, I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. It was 3D animation, but I still liked it a lot. Oh, shit! <laughs> Crap, okay. Bap. See, if Marley grew up on Digimon when I was young, it scares me. 
the lemon incident, but wow, I loved it. Oh, what's the what's the lemon incident? Put that there. Grab that, and then let's see. Still have the games. Many cartoons will never be the same, but if we grew up with salad fingers, and it turns out, it turns out. Oh wait, <laughs> it was salad fingers, but I remember her now. It turned out okay. I think they'll survive marionette fingers. It goes. Yeah, yeah, they will. Oh no, I just remembered Caillou and Peppa Pig. Oh no, I liked Caillou. I don't know. I didn't realize like. He was so annoying to a lot of people till I got on social media and they were like, Oh, I fucking hated Caillou. He was so fucking annoying. He was a little guy and he was like, Oh, mommy. Like, I don't know. I thought it was just like not relatable necessarily. My mom would beat my ass if I ever did anything like he did. But like still, you know, I thought it was kind of like, like, yeah, just like me for real, for real. You know, he cries sometimes and that's okay. And like, I don't know. I thought his parents were so nice. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes, yeah, he would cry over stuff where it's like, yeah, I wouldn't cry over that. That's, like, really not that big of a deal. But it was fine overall, I thought. There we go. Get out of here. It's really cool. Oh, <laughs> Let's see. And now we have Hello Boss Murder Jones has been hotel and to imagine we could we had freaking Caillou and Peppa as kids. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot more stuff. I think they the kids nowadays are getting exposed to a lot more stuff very early on and I don't know. It's probably concerning. Uh where do I get the special thing? Where do I get the Ooh, look, I have a new power to unlock. What's that? Eh. 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 Okay. Maybe I gotta run. Okay. So no. I did that one, so that's the final one that it wants me to do. I think it's in the main tower, isn't it? Bling, bling. Go here. There we go. Except something relatable. I <laughs> so didn't understand why people hate a Caillou. Right? Right? He gets so much hate for like no reason to the day. I just like the claymation. The claymations? They weren't. Really? I mean, I think there was like. Didn't Gilbert have a song and that one was claymation? Ah, uh, and you know what? They had like real life segments or whatever where, where Gilbert and like the other character. I can't remember who the other character. We're gonna do a watch along stream or something, a bunch of old cartoons. I swear to god we're gonna do one. I don't know when, but it's gonna happen one day. Oh my gosh. But um it was like uh they, they would like it would be Gilbert and a bunch of other characters and they'd just be like chilling or whatever. I don't know. I thought I enjoyed I enjoyed Caillou a lot. Yep. Let's see. Uh ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> rada rada. Oh my god, yes! Yes, the fucking, uh, chowder, chowder, yeah. <laughs> I love that shit. Oh my god, that one and Flapjack, although Flapjack was, like, more, more, like, disturbing to me. Because, I don't know, some of the stuff was just, like, really freaky to me. Like, a lot of the shots in chowder were a lot more disturbing. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, feeling of rust. Did you watch Wallace and Gromit? You know, I didn't get exposed to Wallace and Gromit till like, way, way later. I, I started learning about that, like, late elementary school age. <laughs> I don't see, uh, how do I say this? The deed by stuff became something that kids couldn't know about me. It's a natural part of life. There's no reason kids should know. Because, like, I don't know. It just feels like such a weird thing. And then, like, if if we tell them about it, like, just very openly. I mean, yeah, you know, there's a right way to handle it. Like, kids can have that knowledge. But we feel like maybe they'll worry too much about it. Like, they'll be like, oh, well, I need to, you know, do this. I need to do that. And it's like, no, you you aren't at an age where you really need to worry about it at all. You know? I think that's where the fear comes. Or at least for me, that's why I'm not like, oh, yeah, you know, there's a thing. You have come far, oh. my child. Huh? Succeeding where so many before you failed. Yippee! You have walked through a land of ruins and a you land can't jump of death. On here. Now the land of faith lies before you. Yippee. And know that as you have shown faith in me, so do I have faith in you. I really doubt that, but thanks. <laughs> the amount of times that you're like, it's okay, you can you can give up, it's okay. Oh my god, this song! 
No, wait, it's the opening song. Never mind. If I go through there, will I have the option to go back? Look at this. Oh. Welcome to the Peppers, Joe Nobody. <laughs> That's what it says. You you're, stand you're infected before now. the gates of eternity. Uh huh. When all your trials have been overcome, the gates will open and you will be granted life everlasting. Can I have RGB headlights instead? Let's see. First to ascend, Hebus. Everyone ascends or gets reset eventually. What's the big deal? Life eternal in the dynasty of paradise. Hmm. What if we do get reset? If I'm not the first, what's the point then? I kind of do want to go into the other tower, but then it'll be like, oh, I told you not to do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, final puzzle time. Probably, probably not. Let's see, let's see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I didn't have money. I didn't. I did see the ads for it. Wait, for which one? Balls and Gromit. Ah. You know, the first anime that I actually ever saw was a commercial for the movie Ranma Second Half or something like that. Uh, which I didn't know was a series until like way later where I was like, I'd, I'd always seen the ad and I remember memorizing like all the lines or whatever from it. And I was like, I really want to watch it. It seems interesting. You know, I like the, the style of it and I didn't know what anime was at the time. But I like didn't get into it till way, way later. Where I was like, you know what, fuck it. Today's the day I'm going to watch it. And like literal years have passed since I said that I'd wanted to watch it. Uh, and so I looked it up online and it was like, yeah, it's a series. And then I started watching it. And then I was like, oh my god, this is an anime. That's crazy. <laughs> I forget which VHS tape it was, but it had like that. And like also an ad for Kimbo the White Lion. So yeah. <laughs> Love Flapjack and Courage. Yeah, I never got too into Courage. But I do have like, like a little bit of like, yeah, you know, I remember seeing that. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Don't kid. I noticed he was annoying to a degree. <laughs> English sucked. It's fine. Kai is fine, right? I was scared it was a projection. A projection? Flapjack's close up. I adore when they had the absurd detail. Yes, but then a lot of parents don't warn the kids about the bad stuff that can happen to them at that age. That gets involved. Exactly, exactly. Oh shit, we have raiders. We're under attack. Everybody get down. <laughs> Welcome in, Prez and fellow club members. My name is Bipper Gatiru, so I'm a manual VTuber. We're doing puzzles and I keep getting distracted. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, opinion time. Did y'all think Caillou was annoying? Because I don't think he was. And uh, like two people agree with me so far. And we don't have a lot of like disagreeers yet. So I want to see. I know everybody online is like, oh, yeah, Caillou was so annoying, but like genuinely, if you watched it, did you actually think he was annoying? Let's see. <laughs> Welcome in that wizard guy. Welcome in, Luco. Let's see how are the puzzles going. They're going pretty good. I'm already like, I think maybe at the end of the game, but I'm not sure if I want to go through the final gate because I'll either get reset. I mean, I don't know for sure, but like the writing on the wall says like, oh, we might get reset or end up in paradise. And like, it's not really that deep for me. I just, I just wanted like RGB lights at most, you know? I just wanted to solve puzzles. I just like puzzles. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, what's up? Uh, let's see. Is he another crap? Why? It was just a voice. Okay, that I understand. Like, I, I did not mind it. But then again, I tend to, like, block out a lot of noises. So, maybe that's just a me thing. Let's see. I never watched it. Ah, oh, dang. I didn't watch it because he looked annoying. What do you mean he looked annoying? That's just mean. <laughs> He's just a kid. Oh my god. Can I... Oh yeah, there is a rotate these. Okay, this one, maybe this one, and then. But yeah, no, I didn't. I don't know. It's just it, I didn't notice that everybody apparently hated him. So I got on the internet, and everybody's like, "Oh, I fucking hated Caillou," and it's like, "Well, then why were y'all watching it?" <laughs> uh, maybe. Okay, well, that one can't go there. That doesn't work. Oh wait, hold on. Um. Hmm. My people! Joe underscore Welcome to the Peppers! To the <laughs> Let's see, did Bro have no hair at that age? Maybe he just shaved it. Maybe he liked, or maybe like he got a lot of stuff in his hair. Maybe his parents were just like, alright, you're going bald. <laughs> this documentary revealed how child girls develop very beautiful children in class. Uh -huh. Let's see. Voices. 
That really says how much it puts me off of it. Damn! Okay, so that was just like a personal thing. That was annoying, but we watched it all the time because they had limited access. I felt that. PBS. PBS. Just whatever they aired, we were at the mercy of PBS. Damn, apparently a lot of people hated it. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was not that big of a deal for me. Another for the void. Oh man. I, I don't know. I guess it was the parents for me. Like, I was like, damn, I wish my parents would. <laughs> I wish my parents were that nice. Hell, a lot of the tantrums that he threw, I remember like just kind of cringing whenever he threw them, but only because I was like, I would get my ass beat. No, I would not survive that type of tantrum. What do you mean? What do you mean? But no, he was fine. He was just like, eh, and then they'd be like, Caillou. And like, that was it. That was the extent of his, of his punishment. Caillou, and that's it. Man, but at least he would feel bad. You know, there's that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna go. What the hell? I feel like these puzzles don't fit. Is it a lie? Is it a metaphor that it was always a lie? No matter what I do, will this never fit? It could be. That would definitely feel like something this game would do. Hep, 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 hep. I feel like the the blocks always go in the corners. This would make sense. Uh, that can't be. This one could go here. That wouldn't make any sense though, because then we have like a long piece there. Yeah, that's not doing it. Hmm. Which is worse, Caillou or Miraculous Ladybug and Cat Noir? Uh, I, I think Marinette from them because she's just like so fucking. Oh, I don't know. She even needs like a lot of secondhand embarrassment. She's like, oh, my dream. It's just, it's just like, I don't know, it's a lot. It's a lot for me, and like, I tend to be very chill. Like, there's a little skull pattern here. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know, she's too cringe a little bit. <laughs> I am the flipping one. Like how, I like the show Henry's Amazing Animals. I think I remember that show. I remember seeing it on like a list of things that aired on Cuba, but I could be wrong. But I do remember, um, what was it? Does anyone remember Marvin the Tap Dancing Horse? That one I was super into, and I kind of like it got let it got lost in the depths of my mind. I forgot it existed for a while, and then I saw it on like a listing, and I was like, "Oh my god, I forgot that existed." Uh, that can't go there. What the actual hell? I think this is a lie. I think it was all a lie. I think the game will make you eventually go to like the Forbidden Tower because it was all an experiment, and it was never meant to actually work. I'm almost 100% sure that's what this game will do. So that's like absolutely a thing the game feels like it would do, you know? This one, see, and then put that there, but then we need a piece there. It's not making sense. Could be really funny if I'm just like not solving it the right way. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's not it. Hmm. Martha Speaks was good. Yeah, I always assumed his parents were soft on him because of his. Baldness. Oh my god. <laughs> they just like felt bad and bald ass head and they were like, well, you know, if I was bald, I would also be annoying and rude and mean. <laughs> oh my gosh. Martha Speaks, right? Right? Miraculous Lady of It is, but I just think like, like whenever I think back on what would make me like more uncomfortable to watch as in like, like genuinely, whenever I get secondhand embarrassment, I genuinely feel like uncomfortable. Like, I, my body will, like, crunch into itself because I'm just like, ah, no. <laughs> Stop being cringe. Oh, my gosh. Fire OC there. Right? Right? It's so, like, epic and it's just me doing puzzles. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe this, but then there's no straight two-piece. This. 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 Nope, that doesn't work. I swear, this is a lie. There's no way. If any of y'all, like, figure out an arrangement of the pieces, let me know. <laughs> if y'all are like, wait, 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 do, do, put that one there. Feel free to let me know, but, like, I don't, I don't, I don't think there's an actual way to solve this. I just get that gut feeling, you know, since we're so close to the end, and they're like, oh, look, it's the end. It definitely feels unreal, you know? Nope. 
Nope. There's always like, like, see, this takes up four spaces, but not in the arrangement that it needs. Hmm. Let's see what happens if I get out. No, I didn't. Maybe there is a way to solve it, and I'm just dumb. <laughs> Too bad time in streaming plays in the past? Yes, I have. Um, I played it like, like a while, a while ago, and then I low key kind of forgot about it. But yeah, it's just a puzzle game. It's like, I am a robot, and there's like a god voice in the sky, and he's like, I'm your dad. Uh, solve puzzles, and then you can join me in Land of Eternity. And I'm like, I just like puzzles, so I'm gonna solve puzzles. So I started solving puzzles, and now we're at the end, and he's like, you can join me in the afterlife now. Or not afterlife, but like, the, the paradise. Yeah, he's like, yeah, join me in the paradise now. And I'm like, okay. And then he's like, just solve the puzzle, and then and then you can come. And and now I'm here. <laughs> I don't think this is quite right. Of course, no business being this good. Put that one there. Ah, you're so right. Hold on. There we go. And then this one just we just like break it in half, and then boom, boom, and we're done. <laughs> yeah, that guy said, no, nothing in the other spot. I think you almost have it there. Yeah, it's like super close, but it's just not quite. And I think that's that's the whole point. I think. Because, like, this game is all about philosophy, right? It's all about what's existence, what's real, blah, blah, blah. You know, we die. What, what is the whole reason, you know? I'm, I am so confident that this game is going to be, like, a tease of, like, oh, look, you're at the end. You're so close. And then, like, yoink, you're not. <laughs> you're not. We lied. I'm just, like, so fully expecting it. This game could be, like, a perfectly normal game. I'm just like, I don't trust you. Well, that's, that's a weird combination, but it'll work. We'll put that there. Oh, this doesn't fit anywhere, but this can go here. Move this. That won't work. We'll put that there. <laughs> this has, like, one place to go, and that goes there. It's a lot of weird ways to, to do it, but <laughs> not a right way. Uh, no. You have to spin the L? Wait, really? Have you actually had it? Oh my god. Wait, don't fuck with me. Stop. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Square, bottom, left. L, right of the square. Long to far left at bottom. Long to far right, left. Long to far left at bottom. Wait. Square, bottom, left. L to the right of square. Long to far... Okay, like that. Okay. And then... This could probably go there. No, that, that doesn't seem right. Wait, that could go there. Could go here. No, that doesn't fit anywhere. Could be this here. That won't fit anywhere. This could go here, but then I need the long piece. Huh. Flip the L? What do you mean? Flip the L. Hold on, let me take off all the other pieces. Flip the L, so it was like this. Flipped would be like this. Like that? This can go here. Um, this can go here. This can go here, but then I need a straight piece. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think there's an end, guys. Cause like... Trust me, I'm like actually decently good with these puzzles. Like, you can see in a lot of the other streams that I did of this game. <laughs> like, eventually I just like no-brain it and then boom, it solves, but... I really don't feel like this, this one has an ending. I can move this here, this there, and this there. You can give me this. Goes there, but then that's weird. Uh, uh. T, top left. Hip, hip, T, top left. The other T in the middle is exact left. Top left. But like facing what? Top left. Uh. Top left, T in the middle, zigzag left. Zigzag would be left. Oh. 
That would have fit there. I see it now. Stop fucking with me. I'm so confused. Let's see, square inverted. Wait, inverted L. And then vertical bar goes like that. I'm going to switch my alt account because I'm asleep. Night night. Good night, Baku. I see it now. Yes, that's it. Zigzag right. Zigzag right. Come on, you genius. Oh, oh my god. Wait, you're right. Holy shit. <laughs> now I feel stupid. <laughs> Holy shit, Emma's the genius. Emma's the actual genius here. Oh my god. I was so confident it wasn't gonna work. You have come far in your journey and learned much. You have served our cause with the truest faith. Therefore, I name you blessed and beloved. My dad loves me. <laughs> Wield these, the instruments of our power. The instruments to of power. It's an iPad. <laughs> it's like, go oh, become a VTuber. I'll be a VTuber in a V- I'll playing a- what- what? I'll be a VTuber playing a game about becoming a VTuber. Where's my thingy? He didn't give me my thing. My little power-up. He was supposed to give me the thing. What the hell? Wait, no, wait. I gotta go to the door behind it. Duh. What do you not work today? Yeah, <laughs> no work today. I don't know who broke him, but somebody broke him. It's not open. He lied to me. Unless that's not it. That's not open. What am I supposed to do? I'm confusion. Maybe I gotta go to room one and get stuff here. But I thought I was at the eternal gates. Blah blah blah. Let's see, become an iPad kid, my son. <laughs> yeah, at some point, oh, she did it in Pepsi system. Like no, I was so confident. <laughs> VTuber awakening, I gotta go. Bye bye, JJ! Let's see. Okay, so I guess I gotta solve these puzzles next. Man, this kinda sucks. I don't wanna. Okay, alright, more puzzle times, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, we still have time. What is this? Snacks. Huh? What am I supposed to do with this? Is it gonna be one of those, like, I learned to be violent? I'm pressing buttons, <laughs> none of them are... Actually, E drops it, that's kind of weird. Oh! Oh! Well, that's not an axe swing. Oh. What did I just do? What? What is he doing? Why did he do that? X does that. Oh, X resets! Duh, I forgot about that. Huh, that's so weird. This is the instrument? With the X, you must send it to Rogue Machine. <laughs> about the shiny door. I don't know, I feel like I get, I'll get yelled at or something by my dad. It'll be like, don't chop down the fucking door! But let's see if it, if it gives me any prompt. Can I come in? <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Polite knocking. <laughs> So weird. It's on the opposite end of like supposedly the reward too. I feel like that's symbolic or something. Also, it's right by a door, but it it still doesn't let me like do anything with it. So that's kind of strange. Can I bring this with me into a room? Let's try. Let me see. Where's room one? That's four. That's two. Room one is right here. I wonder. Ah, oh, dang you have it. solved many of the mysteries of this land. Yippee. The road before you is still long and many gates remain closed. Uh-huh. But take comfort in your accomplishment and in your creator's pride. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so the only issue we have the axes, how to solve all the puzzles from here, they give you trouble, you chop them. <laughs> Violence. Acrophil, hope. Sarabhai982. Let's do hope. Uh, hi. I hope you get this. The internet's been disappearing unpredictably. I want you to know that I'm going to try to get you. I know it's far and there's not a lot of time, but I think I can manage. I want to be with you. And fr Frank? On the road, trying to get trying to get to you seems better than just staying here. So far away from you. At least I'll be as close as I can get. Remember. Hey, don't be sad. I might make it. I've thought about it, and the distance should be crossable on time, assuming that... No, assuming the... Something. 
don't kick in before something. See you soon. I love you. Damn, this is kind of sad. It, it seems like... It feels like an email that you would receive from a friend or something at the end of the world. I don't know. That, <laughs> that makes me feel kind of sad. Let's see. Let's set up high. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Everything's dark and quiet. The stars are brighter than I've ever seen them. I hear the faint sound of water high above. Inside, Alexandra is recording one of her time capsule messages while running tests on the scenario module. Arkady is uploading another batch to the archive while muttering something about the MLA program. And Omar is sleeping on the couch we put up yesterday. And I'm sitting here, writing this, having trouble believing that it will ever end. That this oddly peaceful existence of ours won't just go on forever. It, no, I look at Talos and El. Who's Talos again? Am I Talos? I don't think of Talos. And their purpose seems like something that always, that's always going to be in the future. An ideal to work towards, not something that will become real. I wonder if there will be quiet places in the simulation. Places to rest without thinking about the future. I hope so. Everyone deserves some moments of peace. Aw, that's cute. Mm, and then this one. Thanks for the stream, Pepe Luco. Just, just, good night. I think I understood that one. Now. So, uh, thank you for the stream and have a good night. And then, uh, good night. Uh, I don't know what the top one is though. Good night. It's still, it's still a seashell today. <gasps> you did? What type of seashell was it? <laughs> uh, blah, blah, blah. The vision was granted to the Archangel Uriel to the humble servant Edwald that he might bear testimony of blah and blah. Uh, I turned to the north and saw seven black clouds coming down upon the land, and each cloud was a plague unleashed from the throne of God in the time of the Nephilim. In that age, the plagues were buried in the pit, there to remain until the end of days, which was surely now come. I fell to my knees and prayed, and before me appeared seven angels riding their chariots, wheels within wheels, turning in the sky, and their light hid the clouds from my sight. One angel stepped down onto earth, and by his fiery sword I knew him to be Uriel. He spoke, saying, Seven plagues have now awoken in the land, but not at the hand of the Elohim. Look upon the wages of sin, and shall he send forth the deluge once more to cleanse the land of this evil? She, no, <laughs> shall he, and all that slithers, and all that crawls, and the birds of the sky, and the fishes of the sea, to end that which you uncovered in your folly? Huh? <laughs> the fuck does that even mean? Oh, uh, the computer's not talking to me anymore. It's kind of sad. I need my online chat bot again. It kept me company. Let's go down this path. Oh, there's options here. Hold on, let me go back. Let's go down this path. There's no options here. <laughs> uh, I still don't have that thingy that it says I was gonna get. It says, like, climbing ability, and it didn't give me shit. Will, will my dad answer me now? Has anyone managed to solve this one? Oh, this is gonna be a hard one, huh? A messenger must be waiting for it. <sighs> so mean. They just put me on hold. And they never answer. For a dad who says, Oh, you're doing so great, kid. He never answers. This is story time was for you. <laughs> yeah, I love you all. Hope you have a good night, day. Be kind. Remember, you're all doing so well. Even if it's just like nothing. If you're stream, Pepe Luko. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Choco. Last week, I also stole a calculator from school. I don't think you should be stealing calculators from the school. Because you, you said calculators with an S. So that means you've stolen multiple. Why do you need that many calculators? <laughs> like, like, it sounds dangerous. What do you need that many calculators for? Like, one, okay, fine, you know, sometimes you need to do math. But, but more than that? How many calculators does a person need, you know? Okay, well, that's that. What else is there? Look at that, there's like a little window there. What's that for? Just being happy? Honestly, valid. Love me. Ha, happy. You're doing great, Buckaroo. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, no, you said a calculator. He didn't say calculators. That's my bad. The train business strikes again. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Okay, I don't know. Autocomplete, man. I just assumed that you stole multiple calculators. But I guess that answers my question. Nobody would need more than one calculator, so. Why'd you steal it, though? Like... 
Like, I'm talking about, like, what made you be like, yeah, I want to take this home with me. Because for me, it would probably be, like, the coin flip simulator. I don't know, something about the animation on the calculators always made me happy. So that's why I always, like... Not stole them, but that's what I would play with during testing. <laughs> I would get bored, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna yoink this. It's this way. Oh, there's more stuff here. Bep, bep, bep. Oh, wait, I remember. I was wrong. No, I wasn't. Was I? Nope. Hmm. Use those calculators to counter them. <laughs> Are you winning, son? Ooh, I'm struggling, dad. It's not my dad. I don't know. I just figured, like, if someone called me son, like, the response would be dad. So I'm like, oh, dad. It's so jovial for me to. <laughs> but now I realize it's probably not the most appropriate thing to say. <laughs> oh, man. What's up with this? The puzzle has no solution. Seriously, it's nonsense. It's not even worth trying. If you do not become invested in finding a solution, you will be free. Don't let some sorry discourage you. There is a solution. Don't let your mind get trapped in patterns. If you seek the truth without prejudice, you will find it. Shepherd. I don't know. It was next to me in science class, so I just took it. Not the... What was it called? Not narcolepsy. Whenever you... You just, like, yoink stuff. There's a... There's a word for it. I forget what it's called, though. But there's a word for it. Clep... Clep... It, it maybe starts with a K, then. Clep... Kleptomic? Kleptomania? Kleptomania? Is it that? Let's see... I need to get in. I want to break free! Like an angel! I think that's an angel. Hmm... This one... And that one... Connects there. Oh, you bozo. Oh, you big bozo. Oh, you big, big bozo. Go, go, go! Dang it. Okay. I <laughs> gotta realign that. Uh, that one, and then that one, and right there. Oh, wait. Hold on, I forgot about something. Doop. And doop. And doop. Right there. Yes! Okay, good. Now I can go through here. I can collect this one. And then from there, not really sure, to be honest. <laughs> I gotta think about it a little harder, but at least I got this. Yeah, that's probably step one. I'm gonna put this right by here. That should be... Oh, wait, hold on. Not right. Right here should be good. Yeah, right there. Probably, if not that one. I think there's a solution to this. Kleptomaniac. Yeah, yeah, there it goes. Kleptomania. Yeah. <laughs> I always think of, like, the, the fucking Undertale song of Megalovania. <laughs> you can voice from the sky, same dad, or two dad situation. <laughs> oh my god. Funniest trait on The Sims. Pep may not be able to read, but she's pretty good at puzzles. Right? Right? I got the thinking brain. I just don't have the reading brain cells anymore. <laughs> um. There's apparently a thing over here, which I don't think I need. And from that, I can use it to do this one. The only issue is that there's no way... Wait, okay, do I need... Oh yeah, that's the beam. I don't need that one, though. Yeah, I don't need that one. Okay, so then... Oh, wait, okay, oh shit. Um... Okay, let's do this. Let's do this and that, and then we'll put it right there, right? Okay. Hear me out on this, okay? Oh fuck! I don't remember. I don't remember what I was gonna do. I had a whole solution. I was like, oh yeah, that goes there. That goes there. That goes there. And then like I started doing it, and then I fucking forgot the steps. So okay, give me a second. <laughs> I gotta rethink. Oh man. 
Also, have Peter Piper, Peter Piper pizza tickets before they switch play pass cards. It's probably rare now. Oh wait, really? They're switching to the cards now? Ah oh, shit. I I miss the good old days when we had Chuck E. Cheese tokens. I only went to Chuck E. Cheese once, but man, was it a time to be alive. I take. Wait, I fucked up. No, we're good. Take that one, take that one, take that one, take that one. We put it. Oh, wait, okay, hold on. So we gotta get that beam from over there. So what we need to do is create a solution. I see, I see. So the thing is, this one needs to be on the left side of the lasers, right? And so technically that door can close, but I need it to not deactivate that one. Okay, now I remember. I needed it to not deactivate that one because then it would close the door and then I'd have to realign the blue light. And that's what I don't want. So as long as I have a straight connection to all three of the things, this so right here should be fine. Yeah, looks about good. The only thing is that beam. Would be enough. Should be. Um. Would it be this one? Oh, fuck. Probably gonna cut. No, wait. It's, it's still gonna be activated, so it's fine. Yep, there we go. Okay, and it'll still connect. Okay, I thought it was just gonna disconnect and that would be super annoying. Oh no. <laughs> Cause now we have this, and then this, but now because the beams are there, they'll they'll cross, so like they can't actually cross. So now how do I do it? I don't think this can actually make it to over here, can it? No, it can't. Okay, wait, there's windows over here that probably means something. Probably means that actually this, that, I don't know if that one, but that they both can get connected somehow through here. See what I'm putting down? Are you eating what I'm... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Let me stop what I was gonna say. Oh my gosh. You picking up what I'm putting down is what I was trying to say, but I was gonna say it in the wrong way. Um... I need to cut that beam. could have at least still kept up the animatronics but they're getting rid of them for the dance floor TV screen. Yeah, that sucks because I know damn well it's gonna break really fast and then like there's gonna be nothing except just the games which is fine, you know, that's all you came for but still, you know, it's about the whole franchise, right? Oh man. Northridge and Pine, yeah. The puzzles in this game seem infuriating but the music is settling so calm it makes it relaxing. Yeah, no, I just go like brain numb and I don't know, this is kind of like the environment that I'm always in whenever I'm solving puzzles. It's just like brain numb uh, brain numb, what's it calls it? Puzzles and stuff like that. So it's just like, being chilling, being chilling. Okay, I, I feel like I need it over here first or something. Put it right there, right? And then I pick this up, go here, and from there I connect all three. And the reason that I do that is so that... I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure there's a good reason. 
Not like that. Uh, over there. Nope. Uh, nope. Grab that. Grab this. And then... Dang it. <laughs> you get through there fast. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. No, please finish it. Wait, please finish what? Animatronics have been with them since the beginning of the company and they're getting rid of them like it's nothing. They don't care about the history. Yeah, no, that's usually how it is with like big corporations and stuff. It's very rare to find people who are like, yeah, we understand why the public loved us and we're gonna continue to do that. You know, that's not a needle in a haystack, but it's just rare, you know? Cause like there's definitely some things, but usually they're just smaller and not heard of. And also there's like sometimes where people are just like, Oh, I don't want people to know about this cool place because because then they'll like they'll all come to it and then it'll get popular and then and then I won't be able to enjoy it as much anymore. And it's like so not cool. Take this and remember why I was doing that in the first place. Do 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 but I want to be legendary. Give me sirens and cyclops. Oh wait, I can't get it through there, duh. This is gonna be a moment. Oh wait, but even if I did that, then it would still intersect. We're gonna work through this step by step as best as we can. And then this one. And then... Man, a lot of my brain is just like mush and images, so... <laughs> if you ever wonder why isn't she explaining shit, it's because I, I don't have words for it. I just like, bloom, 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 done. <laughs> uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oy, see, see. Oy, see, see. Okay, this one, and then this one, hold there. Fucking shit, and that one needs to move. Oh my god. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Where is it? What you were saying? Who? Who, Cyril A or me? Only reason why Northridge was saved is because it was the last 90s Chuck E. Cheese that people spoke about the company not wanting to be- Oh, okay. I bet people care a lot. They're the ones that make the animatronics- Yeah, yeah. If a lot of people upright, like, you know, it's like the Sonic movie. We can just bully them into fixing it. Although, you know, there's a theory that the Sonic thing was just like a, a PR stunt. But considering, like, you know, y'all remember all those videos of like, yeah, they, they ordered me to destroy the animatronics. I'm pretty sure it's not just a PR. A, a PR stunt. Yep. I used to go there, but I need it to be out of the way whenever I do that, but that's not... That's not a thing. Let's see, to you, I might think, oh, it's just a restaurant for kids, but special about the animatronics. To you, it's nothing but to the animatronic fans and to see something different. But to animatronic fans, it shows tragedy, rebirth, and time once was saying this about a concept being a vacation source. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is like, oh shit, things change. Things change whether we want them to or not, dang it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. And it sucks. Every time. It's fake, it's all fake, oh. <laughs> Fuck, how do I do this? I feel like there is a way to do this. I mean, I've solved some of these puzzles before. Not these, but like the red ones, because these are the red ones, so they're like harder or whatever. I know there's a way to do it, I just don't know how to yet. Because the idea that I had didn't even work. Um, the animatronics got a taste for blood, they had to be put down before something worse happened. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, they connected an AI to them and then it got a little quirky at night and then they were like, I <laughs> we hit the kill switch. Oh, man. There's now four, three stages left in the world. 
And people are wanting Pinesville three stage saved because the only three stages that's in good condition. Ah, damn. Hmm. I know life is hate or scary, but I want to be legendary. So weird how they like include structures like that, but they really don't have a purpose. From what I've seen at least so far. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> We're not bringing FNAF into this. I would hope not. I don't want to have to deal with that because, you know, in FNAF there was some, like, story reason as to why they never leave the, the, the place. But if it was real, I'm pretty sure they would have just... I mean, you know, in the movie then they left or whatever, and I guess I got the okay from the lore writer, but still. Ooh, wait. Hold on a minute. No, wait, never mind. I thought maybe if I go this way, then I can get it through that window and then it would do something, but at most I can just do this. be cooking or I might be burning it. It really just depends right now. So in that buffering stage. Uh -huh. Oh, I took that one at some point. Dang it. Where did I leave it? <laughs> Wait, one, two, three. Oh, that's probably why you should just be two. Hmm. gonna put that there for a moment. See, FNAF is why I won't step foot near the machines. Yeah. It's not even just because they're animatronics, honestly, just like, and I don't mean this as like, oh, furries. I just mean like, fursuits in general tend to freak me out a little bit. I don't know what it is about them. I genuinely don't know. But something about it just gives me like a deep panic where it's like, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, man. Were there only three of them the entire time? Wait, there's one over there. Hmm. Let's see. Fursuits too scare me because of <laughs> That was the reason why people love animatronics and people who collect. Yeah, it definitely like exposed it to a lot more, like a wider audience. I miss Studio C beta stage. It was my favorite stage, but the animatronic was. Ah, dang. But when FNAF came out, it gave actual animatronics a, animatronics a bad name because it gave people phobias about animatronics. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it sucks. With, uh, with the horror genre, sometimes it exposes people to it, and then people are like, Ah, oh, yeah, that's cool. And sometimes people are like, Holy shit, that's scary. And then then like people are like, Oh, wait, but no, it, it's cool. It's cool. It's not just scary. Trust me. Please believe me. <laughs> hmm. Why is this a thing? Do 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 do. Bum 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 ba da da da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Sometimes I can't tell if this game is buggy or if there's like secret lore things hidden around. That's strange. 
Because that was very obviously like like a trigger box or something, but I don't know why. You know, why, why does it trigger a sound? Huh. 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 Let's see. I will say Chuck E. Cheese will never be the same without Charles Entertainment Cheese himself. Did you know the Studio C bots had 32 movements instead of 16? The reason they went to 16 was because it was easier to maintain and repair. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, for a person to fit inside a fursuit, this proportion has to be kind of weird and oversized. I think they're too big, clunky looking anyways, the way the move reflects it. Yeah, yeah. Kind of gives it very, like, creepy kind of vibes-ish. He's like, ooh, why are you moving like that? If there was a window here, that would be nice. But there's not. Why? And how? And why again? And how again? Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. I burnt it. <laughs> I did not cook. that there hmm. makes them kind of uncanny to look at yeah yeah especially whenever they try to do like humanoid stuff it's, it's even freakier like y'all remember what was it the the buzz or buzzy or something like that the little guy from from walt disney from disneyland i forget which park specifically but there was a park that had like a buzz or whatever and it got ugh, we got stolen or something and like I don't know to me it was really freaky looking <laughs> but to a lot of people they were like oh I loved that animatronic I can't believe someone stole it dang it and I'm just like mm. stay gone Loki ah <laughs> uh, damn it okay let me do this other thing when we did airsoft and max thought costume is surprisingly not too clunky. Wait, can I can I have context on that? Can we have context on that? Why? Just out of curiosity, you don't have to be like, oh, I wish this. You know, you don't have to give too many. But like, why were you in a mascot costume doing airsoft? mascot oh okay okay that kind of makes sense the lore <laughs> exactly exactly definitely felt like there was like an untold story there what the fuck is this puzzle gotten to the point i don't know about y'all but i used to do this all the time or not do it but like get this way in school to where like if i learned too much like literally if i was learning too much or too invested or like using my brain a lot i would genuinely get sleepy after a while and so i'll start like yawning and all that shit so yeah i'm getting to that point where my brain's like all right we're done here no more <laughs> animatronic of mr blobby ever gets made oh my god they're going to turn to a real life horror movie no for real for real let's see if i can set it up correctly wait okay hold on go back go back go back go back go back go back and think of what you were thinking if this goes there well that won't make any sense Mm. If you get it in one connection, this. Okay, wait, that could work. How do you do that? Um. Well. One, two. There's only two, though. Are you sure there's only three total? One, two, three. 
Were there always only three little, like, stands thingies? One, two... I wish there was, like, a thing or something where it would show you. This is how many tools you have. Because I keep forgetting. I don't take inventory, and that's my issue. One, two, three... Yeah, I think there's only three. Let's see. If you don't know Mr. Blobby, I'll put it in Discord. No, I think I do. That's from the club, isn't it? Let's see, if you make FNAF type or pop movie, you technically make Chuck E. Cheese and show this pizza horror movie parody. Yeah, you're not wrong. Damn, there's only three of these. So that would've worked, because that solution needs two. And that one needs minimum. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second, and we're done holding because I just realized- wait, wait, okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Y'all holding? Y'all holding? I'm thinking. It's very dangerous, but I'm thinking. Doing this. Yeah, wait a minute. That's actually doable. There we go. Why that take me so long? That's such an easy solution. <laughs> God. I think I thought of that originally, but I was like, oh no, that wouldn't work. Because that, that would get cut off there. Oof, man, all that for one piece. And we're like four minutes away. I don't know if I can... Well, it says that one should be easy. Okay, I'll just go in, I'll look. If it's too hard, then that's it. And we're done. Because if I do this too long, then it's also no bueno. This one's... Also supposedly a hard one. I'd say supposedly like if I didn't struggle on the last one. <laughs> huh. Huh. What do you mean it's locked? Open it. Your metal guy just ripped the door off its hinges. <laughs> Your metal guy society doesn't exist to you. Huh? Huh? How do I get through? Oh wait, okay, here's a new way. That's a robot sound. That's a thing. That's a mood, Gabriella. Okay. Grab. Okay. Okay, okay. Um. Ah. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Okay, cool. Now that we know what that's about. Go back over here. What do I need this for? Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Ma, 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 what's down here? What a surprise, what a surprise. Yep. Oh, this isn't gonna be good. Oh, wait, hold on, I can go this way. There we go. Be good enough. Is it that one? No. Let's see. If I wanted Chuck E. Cheese animatronic, I would want Jasper Cyberamic. If it's Showbiz Pizza animatronic. Wait, okay. That's more lore than I thought there was for the Chuck E. Cheese franchise. <laughs> Showbiz animatronic, Beach Bear, apparently. Not. Oh. Rude. You know what I gotta probably gotta do? Oh, I gotta like. Wamp. Hello. Hello. There we go. Probably like that. Where is this? Is this new or is this. Have I already been here? I think I've already been here. So, what do I need that for? Wait, I was just here. I was. Yep. Oh, okay, we're good. Guess we'll go this way. Was I already here? Guys, in case I couldn't tell, I have a really, really bad sense of direction. And it doesn't help that everything here legit looks the same. There's 
no way. There's no way. So it's over for me. Okay, alright. Oh, and things off. Okay, here we go. Do that. So Jover, it's so Jover. Oh god, I was so confident they were gonna get me. <laughs> Haven't heard of Chuck E. Cheese outside of ads back when movies were on tape, right? Right? I think I got like flyers for them at oh my god. At school and stuff, and that's about it. I could do that, I could do that. Oh, this is probably supposed to do something like, oh, I will jam it from here. Because I can do that. What's that for, though? That one's really far. I don't think that's the close solution. That's probably, like, one of those extra solutions. But why? Hmm. There we go. That blow thing is amazing, right? I guess I need this, and then I gotta go this way. Go back, hello, goodbye. Shush. You come here, I don't think we need to do that now. And then boom, and then grab, and then the boom, and then the grab, and then the boom. And then we go here, we do that, and then we go over here, grab this, and then we go back, and... Oof. Do that, and then we grab this, and hope there's something that's gonna kill us here. There's a thing here. A lot of... These graves? Those are graves. <laughs> Those are graves. Oops. Why are there three of them? That's kind of weird. Is that three? Did I count right? Yeah, there's three. Don't know if that's relevant in any way. Okay, well that's that. Maybe the other one did need to go there? In that other spot. So maybe that's the place that I need to get to. Probably. Honestly, I don't even remember where the goal is. I don't think I've seen it yet. There's that. Uh, there was another one, wasn't there? Hold on. <laughs> I might need you. I don't remember yet. Where did I leave the last one? Um... Oh, okay. Hug. Go this way. Oh! Not go that way. Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was so close to the solution, too. Oh, I don't remember what I did. Do I have to go all the way back? I have to go all the way back, don't I? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I was expecting it, that's why I got the fucking nervous laugh. Cause I was like, oh, I'm stuck behind the door, I couldn't go through the fucking doorway, so it's just gonna explode on me. Why is there another one? Why is there another one? Where the fuck is it? What the fuck? It's probably somewhere over here. Where the fuck was it? I'm, I'm so genuinely confused now. Wait, okay, this, this fucking doorway, I keep forgetting it's there. Why was there one locked onto me? Actually scared me because I didn't realize. <laughs> Gotta go for have fun. Have fun that guy. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye. This one. Okay. Should be easy to solve now because I already basically solved it. I just need to do that again. Hello. Goodbye. Bill Nye the science guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Science is cool. Excuse me. Oh. This part's gonna be like a little, little eh. Wait, no, wait, I forget. He always crosses that way. Then I can, okay, cool. If I pass by fast enough, I'm actually fine, but <laughs> if I don't, then I'm fucked. So where did I go from there? Oh, wait, I open door. From there, be careful. There's a bot. Okay, he's over there. I guess we'll go this way. Did I already go this way? I don't think I did. Nope. This way. Nope, this is the wrong way. 
wrong way do 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 wrong way do 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 Hello? 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 It sounded like there was one behind me, I got scared. That goes that way. What? This is the same way that I went last time. So what's over here? Oh wait, this one is the right way, I think. know at what point I'm supposed to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't keep those robots. I don't, they're explosive. <laughs> you know, I suppose a lot of things are, but still. It's reason enough for me not to want them, I think. I just kind of don't want something that whenever I go to pet it. Anyways. <laughs> We're fucking signing off here. I don't Oh god, because I, I know the solution. It's just a matter of executing it. I'm impatient with those fucking robots because they just like boing, boing, boing back and forth and then beep, 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 beep. Like, god, just shut up. I'm right there. See, that's the thing. I hate quitting right before I finish because then it's like, oh, I need to finish it. It's right there. It's so easy to do it. But like, I'm already past time. They just want to hug. They do not. <laughs> they do not just want to hug. They're, they're very not nice. They bite. They definitely bite. Oh, man. That's sad. I just love the sound. Really? It, it gets, it gets me a lot. <laughs> and not in like, oh, they totally understand me. Wait, I mean, in the like, it's mentally breaking down my mental fortitude. We're supposed to just a little excited. They're getting a little quirky. It's because it's too late at night. <laughs> oh, man. After the merger, the name change to shadow biz pizza no wow how did i get shadow uh show biz pizza time oh huh i did not know that i thought it was still freddy fazbear's what, what the fuck no uh chuck e cheese sorry <laughs> zoned out a little too hard there oh wait 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 hold on Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> now all you can do is stare at me. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, honestly, it would be better just to wait for them to be on the same side. Yeah, I'm saying a history lesson that you didn't know about. Yeah, yeah. You got that, that lore. That, uh, Chucky, Chester, Chucky Chester Cheese. I don't actually know his full name. I know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, Chester Cheese or something like that. I don't remember. I think it is Chester Cheese. It's like a rainbow. I think it's Chester Cheese. Is it? That doesn't sound right. I'm probably a Chuck E. Cheese. Chest Chester Esther Cheese. <laughs> oh, man. Chuck. Charles. Isn't it Charles Edward Cheese? Is it that? Pizza time? INC Spider-Man. <laughs> Chuck E. Chester Cheese the fifth. He were close. That's legit his name? Chester Cheetah. No, that's the Cheetos guy. Yes. <laughs> Huh? Huh? Is that the only one that I had? Or was there another one? Mm, let's go that way, and then there's- okay, we're good. Run, 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 oh, run, fast for your mother and fast for your father. Do, 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 do. This way, turn, turn, we're good. Turn, turn, we're good. Uh, pretty sure I'm supposed to have another one by now, but I, <laughs> but I don't. Where's my other one? Almost 100% sure I had another one. Don't remember where I left it. Oh no, wait, I remember. I think I do. I keep like doing the same thing too. Wait, am I? like over here no how do i get there what the fuck did i did i fuck something up already oh man 
And I see someone's being rather proper and saying Charles Entertainment Cheese. Is that is that what it is? Charles Entertainment Cheese? I thought it was Chester or Chuck. No, I guess I guess Chuck is the abbreviation for Charles, isn't it? I have no idea. My brain is so fucking melted right now, dude. Wait, oh shit, that's why. No fucking wonder, idiot. Oh, um, oh my god. I get it now. Oh my god. Okay, Chuck E. Cheese guy? No, good. We're so back. After a disagreement between Aaron Fetcher and Showbiz Pizza Time Incorporated, a concept unification happened where this rock fire explosion, explosion ban would be Munchies Make Believe Band. Oh. This one, we go this way, then we go that way, and then we just, like, run directly between. And we run directly between again. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. This way. Oh my god. I thought that was one of them. Shut the fuck up, okay? Just shut up. God, you're so fucking... Don't you have anything better to say? Okay, and then from here, put this there. I'll go back and I'll grab this and I'll go back here. I wish I could close the door. Grab this, go over here, put this there, and then go back over here and grab this. And then I'll go over here and then I'll go through and then I'll use this one and then from there I have this one. Which I might as well take it with me. I mean, what's the point of like, oh, I'll leave it over here. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I actually am supposed to take this with me, because then I gotta do this. No, I don't think I actually have to take it with me. I just, I don't know. Now that I'm really looking at it, that doesn't look about right, but it's fine. And now, if I follow this road... We're so bad, gamers. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. This one... Actually, like an hour ago or at the time. Oh. Wait. Oh. Hold on. I zoned out for two seconds. Now I have no idea where I am. Wait. Okay. No. Wait. It's this way. It's this way. Oh. It's not this way. Where is it? Wait. It's through the door. Is it? Are you sure? No. 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 It's, it's through the side one. Okay. This one. That one. You know what? The way I talked to myself, it wouldn't be like I wouldn't be surprised if someone was like. Oh, guys, she has a twin there that has the exact same voice as her. And so, it's just like we're twin instructing her, because literally I have a voice of reason. <laughs> Gonna get another three and a half hours straight? No, no, we're almost done. I'm finishing this puzzle, and then, and then that's it. And then it's so over. It's finally over. War is over if you want it. There we go. That's what I fucking need to do. Now I just need to get out and then I am done for today. There we go. We solved like three puzzles. <laughs> we solved like three puzzles. Freaking twin lore. Oh, schizorica. No, schizorica. Oh my god. Okay. There's still more in there. Okay, yeah, I think that's all we're doing for today. I don't even know what the fuck else I'm supposed to be doing, to be honest. I'm just solving these because I figured that's what's next. Uh, but yeah, let's go back to chatting. There we go. Oh my gosh, when we went two hours late. That no, no, I was right there. I just kept failing on the execution part. So with that, thank you all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed <laughs> that <laughs> in some way. Um, drink your milk, eat your vegetables, don't talk to strangers, or at least try and best judgment. Um, I don't know. Question everything. What is existence? Yeah, just think about that. And good luck sleeping tonight. This <laughs> <laughs> started Bush now when a coyote has a mascot. Oh, coyote! I think coyote's pizza would have been dope. We did it. Thanks for the stream. Hope you had fun. I, I almost burped. Uh, I did. I hope you had fun too watching that. Man, that yellow puzzle though. That one. I was so confident and I was like, oh yeah, this is the end of the game. I thought it was it. Oh man. Man, Pippa's right. I am so... I'm boiled. <laughs> I'm legit boiled this time. But yeah, drinking milk and vegetables and talk to strangers during this time's best judgment. I will see y'all maybe tomorrow. As in, like, I don't know if y'all are going to be there, but I'm going to be there. Um, 
and like what are, what are we playing we're playing the the game tomorrow the climbing game difficult a difficult game about climbing Ooh, whew. you know honestly i feel like that one's easier because it's not as much thinky as it is just like you know pressing buttons and the one that i just played uh talos principle that one is thinky so that one like legit fries my brain for a little bit but yeah, I'll see y'all now for real. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. I still can't activate the thingy. Um, but bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye. It was, it was, it's the end. It's the end. It's ending. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>